used to dream about times like this. Now they watch a wild ball. Rockstar life, fucking on the center floor. Working crazy, middle finger to the law. Trust no man, I'm just praying to the law. Don't make me send them to you, send them to you, send them to you. Don't make me send them to you, send them to you, send them to you. Don't make me send them to you, send them to you, send them to you. Don't make me send them to you. I got my mind on the dollar. Ain't really bothered about who popping or not. All I'm plotting on is the profit. Fuck the popular spot. Hey, they too busy pocket watching. Try the option to stop. Cause how other niggas make they guap don't hurt your progress or drop. Rock it with the green dot on the top for the static chasers. This table ain't no place for the fake. They aggravate us. See us jealousy whenever you great. We laugh at haters. Playing with the king can break up your team. Just ask the Lakers. It's the fam. And not a single man brag on favors. We was grinding in them trenches. Sandwich bags with the razors. Early mornings at the cash. Couldn't pass by the paper. Posted heavy on the gate till we heard harassed by the neighbors it's major they say a nigga reaching goat status i'm just trying to reach my goal before them people toe taggers that's probably the reason why my heathens toe ladders casket and easter clothes when the reaper soul snatch it better know who a factor and who just yapping on records somewhere down the line at bragging got a match with your efforts digging how i shine she know that i'm cracking won't sweat up because bottom line better see no doc and smack with no pressure i'm forever solid that's why the city know i got us give a fuck who niggas favorite y'all debate i do deposits middle finger to the jakes, to the haters sit and watch us Cause it's only up for now when that's a promise I used to dream only about Asha. times like this Now they watch a wild ball Rockstar life fucking on the center floor Working crazy middle finger to the law Trust no man, I'm just praying to the law Don't make me send them to you Lord, don't make me send them to you Don't make me send them to you Lord, don't make me send them to you I've been running plays, I've been making bank shots. Bank shots. I've been chasing chicken, I've been making wing stops. Blue wing cheese stops. in my pockets, pray it run a fold. Had to learn to be a snake charmer, cause these niggas cobras. Shark City taught a nigga how to swim, fuck a paddle. It's two things I can't give, that's a fuck or a saddle. No free ride, fuck a nigga with his hand out. They funny money like a sitcom, I'd rather stand out. You know I'm just a of the streets, the hustle, the grind. You know I'm just a product. The streets, the hustle, the grind, yeah, yeah. Big dreams like a thick head bitch. That hurdle shit would've made them break fast. Grits, eggs, shit. Bumping, yeah, and ho. Who gon' stop me? Thinking who gon' stop me on the paper route. Don't need my shit to fold. No origami. I maneuver like Kruger. Catch him sleeping. It's a murder scene. Lock nets low. Never see me, but they heard of me. Topic of discussion. Put work in. That's what you learned this need. Got it out the hustle. With the muscle. Feel like Hercules. Instagram got these bad bitches hollering Burke at me. Till I better bring a bag to the table like it's groceries. Most of these haters be fans. This shit'll fuck Fucking breeze, I burn up every trap like you say. I used to up dream up about beat. times like this. Now they watch a wild ball. Rockstar life, fucking on the center floor. Working crazy, middle finger to the law. Trust no man, I'm just praying to the law. Don't make me send them to you, send them to you, send them to you. Don't make me send them to you, send them to you, send them to you. Don't make me send them to you, send them to you, send them to you. Don't make me send them to you, send them to you, send them to you. Let me know if it sound good. Let me turn my joint down. Let me see, let me see. How we looking? How we looking? How we sound? Can I get some thumbs up if the sound is good? How we doing? I know y'all like, where's Av? Where's Av? We good. Stubbs good. Don't worry, we're gonna have a good show. I'm gonna let y'all know what I know y'all like. Where's Av at? I'm gonna let y'all know one moment, let everybody check in a little bit. Appreciate it. Alright. <laughs> I'm about to tell I'm about to tell you what Av in one moment, yo. Good on the sound. Okay, we're gonna have some guests for y'all tonight. Well, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have one guest for y'all. I'll let y'all know. Appreciate it, appreciate it, y'all checking in. Alright. So okay, this is what this uh I'm gonna go ahead and get the show rolling. Um, I appreciate y'all checking in with me tonight. So, what is going on is I'm in the middle of getting ready to take my daughter to drop her off at college um, this weekend. So, it was a little um, confusion. I told Ab we were supposed to be taking her out to dinner tonight. So, we weren't going to be able to do, to do the show. Um, so, I told him to go ahead and just, you know, finish prepping for the battle next weekend. And um, 
that's so that's what he's doing. You know, he's working on you know prepping and everything for the battle so he can give us a good show. Um, me on the other hand, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have um, a guest for y'all tonight. So it's gonna it's gonna be a real solid show. And um, as all as always, I'm always keep rocking with y'all because y'all always keep the questions in the comments crazy. <laughs> yo, y'all is wild, yo. Appreciate it. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. I appreciate it. Yeah, man. Like this, this my, my baby girl. Like, so it's kind of crazy. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna cry. You know what I'm saying? I'm, you know, I'm gonna stay strong, but I think a mama gonna cry. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? For sure. I, you know, it said don't cry. Now I'm gonna stay strong, yo. That's my, that's my baby. Appreciate y'all checking in. Yup. O three, yo. O three. I know y'all like, how the hell you got an 18 year old? Hey man, the good genes. All right, look, I gotta get my dog out of here. Y'all about to get my son, take his dog out of here. But um, we're gonna have a good show tonight. Um, how's, how's everybody Thursday going so far? Yeah, I'm gonna stay, I'm trying to stay strong. All right. He said, hey, real man cry. Right. It's all good, you know what I'm saying? Av is, Av is prepping for the battle next week, you know what I'm saying? He's prepping. I, I know I wish Av was on Summer Madness 11. Trust me, he gonna make them pay. I wish they would've put that battle on Summer Madness. Trust me. Alright. Yeah, we started having kids young. Your daughter 18 too? It's, it's different. Tell him give us a throwaway. <laughs> you know you know what's crazy, y'all? I, have, I haven't even heard the rounds yet. Uh, he always wanna make sure I hear like, I get a real reaction when I hear him the day of. So sometimes it's like you know early on in his career I used to hit you know I used to hit a rounds but these past um, I think everything after the DNA battle I haven't heard the, the actual rounds until the day of or you know or until uh, until the battle so you know what I'm saying but he he good he good he just you know he prepping and everything yo how late I, mean, I don't know I was an early starter you know what I'm saying. Real nigga time. I don't even have kids. I am 30. Oh, okay. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Uh, you endangered species, though. If you ain't got no kids and you in your 30. You ask me if I have more kids? What you talking about? I got, I got a son. I have a son. He's 11. All right. Okay. So I'm just getting to, um, I'm about to have my check for my guest in one moment in, in about five minutes. Uh, how y'all feel about these additions to Summer Madness? How y'all finally got what y'all asked for? You know, y'all were asking for easy and chess. How y'all feel about that? Fire, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling that. You know what's crazy? I don't know how to call it. How y'all calling it? Like, at first glance, like, who, who you got taking this? Let me see. He, he, gonna, he, look, he gonna be there, I promise, yo. He probably tuning in. He, he working on his bars and everything. You got easy, 2-1. Uh, two one debatable. I, I can see it going two one either way, yo. Like just just off thinking of it until you think about it. Chess has already tested the main stage, big crowds. When this prep when this preparation is right, gotcha. Alright, my guess is just about ready. Um What I was saying is um when chess his prep is ready, his preparation is ready, he's 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 damn near unbeatable. You, you know what I'm saying? Him and Loso just had a hell of a fight. Uh, him and Kid Chaos was crazy, so um, he's definitely tested. Now, when you when you look at Easy to Block Captain, he's electrifying. He, he has a momentum with him right now. Um, he's gonna talk that talk. This gonna be a gritty. It's almost like Easy is like yo. I'm here to take your spot. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to bump you out the way. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna take advantage of the opportunities that you you know what I'm saying you kind of squandered a little bit in the case. So I don't know how to call this one really. Like I, I thought about it. And you said easy undefeated. Is he, he might is he, he might be undefeated this year. Yeah, Chess been spacing his battles more, which is better for him, yo. Chess know he know what's at stake. If easy win, this will go to the top. He'll go to the top. What I love about Easy is on uh, his marketing, yo. He he he's a worker, so I definitely salute him on that. He's a worker. He knows how to stay in the people's face. Um. He doesn't, you know, he's kind of like he figured out the game. And if you know where Easy came from, as far as 
being overlooked for so long because he not new. He just new to the masses in a way, but he been around. You know what I'm saying? So I, I like to see that underdog story. You know what I'm saying? Come to light. So I'm that. You know I like to see that. So it's dope to see him on Summer Madness because then everyone would know crazy. Everybody would go crazy in the big room. Chess not gonna play. Um, you think Chess is a gatekeeper? He he's a hell of a test. I I I I, I could kind of see that. It's not bad. It's not a bad thing. If you got Chess as a gatekeeper, a lot it's it's gonna be a tough task for a lot of some of these new cats. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think he's a uh, gatekeeper. I wouldn't want to give him that that uh, that tag yet. Yeah, you think he's going into his lane? That's why I said it. it's like he almost feel like he feel like yo, I'm here to take your spot. Chest, that's what I said. Chester been in front of the big names, the crowd. So he he already know what to, know what to expect. Expect all he gotta do is get through his rounds, yo. Chess is a baby goat. A lamb. That's a lamb, yo. That's what I said. Now nah, I'm gonna call him Chess no gatekeeper. Alright, let me see. Is it almost 10 after? At 10 after I'm gonna bring my guest in. Um He a lamb. But that's dope. Y'all tell me how y'all um what's what's the other oh I heard I seen another matchup, yo, but I I'm feeling that. How y'all feel about, um, I just seen Lady Flames and Emerson Kennedy. That's a weird matchup. I hope that's real. It looked like it was real. Is that real? You say, nah. That's, that's a weird matchup, yo. You ain't feeling it. Flames want to smoke him. Um, Emerson ain't no, he ain't no slouch. He has a good pen and... I almost like him. He, he's an angler in a way. He, to me, he always bring good content. Um, depending on who he's going against, he ain't feeling it. I feel like he a good. Oh, he a good commentator. He a great commentator. Um, chest and face follow the vets easy fighting, but this say it's tough about. Mm, you think you think this battle is tougher than him versus T Rex? We gonna see. We gonna see. Mm, yeah, crazy. He is great at commentary. You know what I'm saying? Um, tougher than replacing Surf is going against Lux and Hollow. Mm. Well, I feel like let me see. As far as the EK and Lady Flames, is y'all going in on that? Y'all, y'all not feeling that one? I don't even know how to call that one. I just got you. Just got to flip the coin and see how that shit go. Honestly, um, she gonna be barking on them. You know what I'm saying? I went. And, you gotta battle her just like a straight battle. Don't even look at like the gender. You just better, you know, you better come ready. And um, she definitely has the conviction more than EK. But I would like to see what he has to say to her. What's his plan of attack with her? Okay. Oh, you saying easy? This the oh you said this oh e I got you saying this chess is easiest easiest uh toughest opponent so far. What is my dream matchup to see? Um, a dream. I'm actually about to get one of them. I, 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 I've ever since Real Sick came into the league, I've been kind of, you know, watching his steps, and I like, I, I can't wait to him at air face off. So I got that one coming up. Um, I would like, honestly, let me see. Out of my top, I would like to see Av and Big K. It's gonna, I mean, it's gonna happen eventually down the line because there's so much at stake. Appreciate y'all checking in. Uh, far, as far as, you know, around here, locally, as far as uh, Virginia. So, a dream battle. I'm trying to think. Um, there's a lot, man. You know what? If I already got the real sick versus Av coming up next week, I wouldn't mind seeing Av versus b Bot. Because I want to see, I want to see that conversation. I want to see what this, I want to see that on the rooftop and like late fall or something like that, hooded up. I want to see how that one go. You know what I'm saying? So I would say either Av versus Big K or Av versus B Dot as of right now. That's what I can think of. It's so easy for me to say him versus Hollow or him versus Surf. Just so y'all can see how his plan of attack would be one of those top, top, t like I guess y'all want to call them God tier battlers and finally get the respect he deserve. But um, I don't like him in Hollow matchup. But. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing him battling Sir. If I could, if I could pick it right now, I wouldn't mind seeing him battling Sir. 
we we working on it, man. I promise we working on getting that battle done. Um, forty bars. Who she going up against? I don't know. I, they dropped the car. Oh, Av and Cal is fire too. Um, I don't know. I, that's that's the one for the coach. That's the one for the coach. I'm not really crazy about Av versus Calico, but I I get why it makes sense. It makes sense, and I think the uh, the culture would love that. <laughs> he said you want to fly back home. Where you at now? Ad versus bird. Mm. The old bird. Okay. I think my, that's my guess right there. I think I just heard that. Give me one moment, y'all. Let me check the list. Put it in. Let's see. Let's be ready. Hey. Okay. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. All right. I'm about to um, bring okay. you in in one moment. You ready? Yes. All right. Okay. Let me see. I, th I, I have my guests ready, y'all. Some of y'all know if y'all follow Battle Rap. Um, oh, you, oh, you in Alabama. How, yo, is it hot down there? That's crazy. Okay. In DMV. Oh, you in the DMV. Okay. Yeah, I got to drive up there, man. My daughter going to um, Bowie State up, in, up there in Maryland. So I'm going to be driving that way, man, this weekend. Tell Abby still waiting on those visuals to validate the truth. What, what video you want to see? It is, I like this. Which video you want to see? Oh, it's raining. Um, oh, yeah, it is supposed to rain this weekend. What, um, what video would you like to see up a validated to? Hey, friend, close to me. You got it. I like that. I'm about to screenshot this right now. Yo. Got it. All right. Okay, so now I'm about to bring in my guest. Um, what can I say? What can I say? I'm about to take out right now. One moment, yo, cause she dope, and it's a woman that's in the culture. If you've been following Battle Rap, if you already um, familiar with the Battle Rap culture, you've seen her. Um, she's a scholar in Afri African American religion and um, hip hop studies, which I think that's dope. They even have hip hop as a curriculum. Um, she's a documentary, uh, document, do how you say, documentarian, filmmaker, and she loves all things hip hop. She even calls herself hip hop's daughter. Um, Y'all have seen her on 15 Minutes of Fame. Um, great individual. A great individual. Um, I have nothing but nice things to say about her solid. And um, I, other than that, I'd like to introduce y'all to Nikki Knowledge. Can you hear me? Oh, wait, it's on. <laughs> Are you on? You good? Let's yeah. Sure. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you fine. Let okay. me make sure everybody else can hear you. Um, they saying, oh, they saying, what up to you in the chat? I can't see the chat. I know, so I'm, 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 I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna give you all the updates. How was the sound? The sound still good? Can I get a thumbs up? The sound is good, y'all. Let me see. I need to bring it up a little bit. I think everything is good. Everything is good. Thank you. Okay, good. Salute, yeah. They, I oh, they're going crazy. Saying salute. Welcome to caffeine. <laughs> oh, yeah. I gotta get my dog out of here. Can you hear me? <laughs> Yeah. You wildin' out my fault, y'all. So, I can hear. Oh, here go my daughter about to walk in. How you doing, Nikki? How you feeling? I'm good. I'm nervous, but I'm good. I'm about to get him out of here. My fault. Okay. She about to walk in the door. So y'all hold tight. Quick. Hold tight. She about to walk in the door. Exactly. I'm doing the show. Can you take him? You look nice. You look cute. Me? Hey, what's up, y'all? That's my baby girl, y'all. You know what I'm oh. saying? I'm like, me? All right, my fault, my fault. I'm, I'm all on track. Can you take them upstairs? Can you get them out here? Thank you. I appreciate it. So how you how you doing? How you feeling? I'm good. I'm nervous, but I'm okay. Once I start talking, I'll be fine. Let me see. I'm going to turn this up so I can hear you. I can hear you. You're fine. I'm just turning up the uh, laptop so I can hear you. Okay, what do you say? I said I'm nervous, but I'm okay. Nah, you ner you've been on 15 minutes of fame. Look, you... You were you were natural. You were all right. <laughs> and you've been in um, I seen I seen you in the uh the universities with mm -hmm. no Lux, good like you, you, you got nothing to be nervous about. You good? Okay. Yeah. So, okay. So, um, person, how how are you doing? How how you feeling today? I'm good. I'm excited, nervous, but excited because you know it's always fun to talk battle rap. It's always, always fun to you know. Yeah. But before we get to that, I'm going to ask you like a ton of questions. I'm ready. I'm ready. Five hours. Okay. I'm ready. Okay, so 
I wanted to call this segment "Who Is Kenny?" Oh, because wow. everyone knows you from being Av's manager. Uh huh. But I feel like if they don't follow you on social media, they don't see that you're so much more. I appreciate um, that. Yes, one of my favorite things, as you already know, yeah. is that you're a, <laughs> you're a family man. Yeah. And um, every time you post, I get so excited. Every time I see your wife, every time I see the kids, I get so excited because that's something that's so necessary in the black community to see healthy black families, you know? I um, so that. I definitely wanted to talk about that. Um, let's talk about it. Uh, I appreciate that. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm on my Peter Griffin, you know what I'm saying? Peter Griffin, you know, I'm a family guy. Um, daughter 18, son 11. Mm-hmm. Um, Wait, we got to start from the beginning, though. You want to start from the beginning? Oh, my fault. I want to rush you. We have, a, we have a whole timeline. I got my notes and everything. Appreciate it. Well, they, they checking okay. in. <laughs> okay, so upbringing. Tell me about your upbringing. Where'd you grow up? We know uh, you're from okay, Virginia. Okay, let's talk about it. Um, well, I, I grew up in Chesapeake, Virginia. Um, it's it's the it's like it's kind of like I grew up in the, like the Deep Creek section. It's like the suburbs. It's a little it's some hood parts. It's some, but I you know I grew up part of like the suburban part. Um, the best way I can say my upbringing was like like little Trey, like you know what I'm saying, like little mm-hmm. Trey boys in the hood. Like I was, I had my I had my friends. You know what I'm saying. They was into what they was into, but I was just me. You know. Mm-hmm. Um, but regular upbringing, like played on the basketball team, played a little football, middle school, uh, high school. Um, what else? You know, love science, all that stuff. Like I, I was into that, like the animals, nature, and all that. But really, yeah, I'm not, I don't always sound typical, but it was like it was a good upbringing. Like I love hip hop, all things hip hop. Like so. okay, so you grew up with both your parents? Yeah, both my parents. They actually. Uh, they celebrated, I want to say, I know my age. Okay, so they just, they celebrated their 40th. That's how I got to remember it. They just said it celebrated their 40th anniversary. Wow. And yeah, so it's cool, you know, it was cool um, watching watching them growing up. Because that's why I get my work, at, uh, my work ethic from my dad, you know. Yeah, I was going to say, do you think that um, having, well, for you specifically, and then like as, you know, black people as a whole, do you think that that makes a difference as to how you become a, what type of parent you are and your desire to be in a healthy marriage? Yeah, and so, yes, in, in certain ways, because um, they, they laugh at because they say, what you, you asked me, what, what's your life like? <laughs> <laughs> that was fire. Um, it does, because uh, cause I give my parents more credit now because, I right, see later, but they, um, they didn't have a blueprint when they was doing this. So I don't think any parent really has, like, you know, especially our parents or guardians, whatever. They didn't have any blueprint when they were uh, raising us or coming up for real. They just going off of what the ancestors really did. You know, like, well, not, I'm sorry, our ancestors, but their parents before them, it's like, you know, they seen it, it worked. They came out, they feel like they turned out all right. So mm-hmm. that's what they're doing. But what I've learned and um, what I've learned is sometimes you got to unlearn the stuff that they taught you. Because yeah. a lot of the stuff they were teaching us, they 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 didn't know no better. Like you know, I mean, some of them did, but some for the most part, they don't have a, they don't have a blueprint. It's yeah, like, that's true. So you gotta unlearn some of these uh bad habits or like like what's the saying say? If you know better, do better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like you know, especially when it comes to like um entrepreneurship, mm-hmm. you know, most of our parents like get a job. I mean, go yeah. to school, get a yeah. job, uh, get benefits, and you know, that's it. But mm-hmm. sometimes I think the next generation coming up, especially our generation, like, you know, I, I was born in the early 80s. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You probably, I know you were born in like, you were 90s, baby, or something like that. 92. 92, see? But it's like our generation, like, just watching, we, we're we go-givers. Mm-hmm. We don't have to, like, um, submit to the traditional uh, defines of society. You know, we can make yeah. it. We, we, there's so many ways out here to make a, make a book. That we can make our own destiny, make our own way. We don't necessarily have to follow the traditional plan. So yeah, I say it does make a difference. Like with, with, I said, with two parents, but I salute any single parent. You that you know what's so crazy? What's um, like growing up, like as you said earlier, I call myself the daughter of hip hop, right? And I, that's because I didn't grow up with a father. 
But it's crazy because I always looked at girls with their fathers and thought they were perfect. Like, to me, it was like, if you are a girl and you have your father, yeah. you tend to make less mistakes and you, you know, your head is on straight and you're not going to do this. You're going to get the it's best grades. I don't know why I thought that as a, as a kid. But it was crazy because most of my friends that had fathers, they was the one that was out here wilding out. Like, <laughs> yeah. really just bugging out. Yo, you know what's crazy? But when you say that, I, would t- I remember... I was in high. I remember I was in high school, yo. And this girl told me, you know, this girl I'm fooling around with. She told me, "Oh, don't worry about it. My dad a punk. He ain't gonna do nothing." And that stuck with me. I was like, "Oh, I'm never gonna be one of those dads." That's I said, crazy. Yo. I mean, she was she was wild. She was wild. Like that's crazy. But she said she told me that, and that stuck with me. Like as a kid, I'm, I mean, I was like a teenager or whatever. I was like, yo, I'm never gonna be one of those parents. And um, yeah. my daughter ain't gonna think I'm no damn punk, like really wilding <laughs> out. Like she had no respect for her pop show. I mean, she and she had both her parents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she told me straight up. She was like, yeah, come on through. Don't worry about it. My dad a punk. He ain't gonna do nothing. And I was like, yo, I, hey, that that just stuck that's with crazy. Me. I, like yeah. for her to even feel brave enough to say that. That's that's wild. Okay, so. All right, so that explains a lot about, you know, how you are now, like, with your wife and your kids and everything. Yeah. All right, so you said a second ago you are, you love hip-hop. Love hip-hop. Okay, so talk about how you first got introduced to hip-hop. Like, what okay. song made you fell in love with you hip-hop? You want to know? You're going to laugh? Okay. It's, okay, I'm going I'm to try to sum this up because it's like a agglom- uh, how I say how you say that? I'm not, how you say agglomation or a mixture of everything? Okay, the first CD I ever bought like compact disc was mm-hmm. TLC who on the TLC tip. So oh, I remember okay. that. But the I always grew up on Michael Jackson. Like Michael Jackson, I was the one with mom, I need the red members only jacket. I need to get the hat, I need to get the glove. So I always loved the performing arts. Like I wanted to perform. Like I, you know, I love that. But yeah. the song that really had me like like I wanna rap or I love hip hop is mm-hmm. Chris Cross Jump, yo. What? No, but I like like that's like what that. But it's it, but it's that's what had me like I love it. But what really changed and molded me was about uh, it was a, like nineteen ninety three or ninety four was a road trip I went on with my with my family. We um mm-hmm. they're 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 originally from Gary Indiana, speaking mm-hmm. of Michael Jackson, and um we took a road trip and we stopped at the uh the record store. My dad bought like four tapes. I'll never forget this. He bought he bought uh Illmatic. Cause he he just loved um, what's the song um the world is yours he loved the jazz riff in it and he was mm-hmm. he loved, so he bought it strictly off of that he bought Illmatic he bought the Brat uh the Brat Funkified um Wu Tang Clan into the Thirty Six Chambers and oh and Doggy Style mm-hmm. those right there when he bought those albums I, I I and then when he was finished with it like I said he only bought the Nas cassette because. He just liked that one song. But he uh-huh. gave the rest of that, all right, you good. These are yours. And, um, so, I okay, love. so this, I can't see the comments, but. Oh, my fault, my fault, my fault. They're saying, they they saying Illmatic us, Fire. They're saying Baptized and the, the Funk. I love Funk the Fire. If they can tell <laughs> us in the comments, I want to know their hip hop song. Like, what song made them fall in, fall in love with hip hop? So. Yeah. I want to see that in the comments. That'll be dope they, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, she wants y'all see that. She want to know what y'all, what song made y'all fall in love with hip hop. Yeah, I feel like d- the songs that um, make us fall in love with hip hop ultimately determines like the type of music we listen to later yeah. on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. LW put she put more money. Uh, I'm sorry, no, I'm sure it was a guy, it was a woman, but I see a heart. So um, she more money, more problems. Okay. Um, I'm old school. Run DMC. Mm-hmm. I love that. Um, just down with the king is crazy. Talib Kweli, Memories Live. Oh, that's a fire joint. Self Destruction. Mm-hmm. Get Richard Die Trying. Maybe fall in love with hip hop. Mm-hmm. All the menace. I'm, I'm Ooh, they throwing some good stuff Ooh. out there. K One, what's up? Saying H to the Izzo. Mm. Wow. Wow. That's that's crazy. Wow. Jazzy Sensation, African Bombada, and, and Jazzy Five. Wow, the chronic, the chronic in the woo, yeah. Mm. yeah. Oh man, like that's crazy. Like I always love the woo. Like the woo for me is crazy. Like 
like that. Because I, you, I'm not sure if you know, but I think you do know. I used to be an artist. Like, like I stopped in like 2014. Is this Dreads app? Yeah, this is Dreads. This when I had the Dreads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. And um, I opened <laughs> up for the Wu twice. So that's you cool. Did what? Twice. That's that's cool. That's good for me off my bucket list. So I'm good. You had Dreads twice? No, I'm saying I opened up for Wu Tang twice. Get the heck out. Yeah. So wow. Yeah. I'm I'm good. I'm that that was good. That was good enough for me. It was a good journey. Wow. So that's what made me fall in love with hip hop. Okay, so let me ask you, and let me ask the people in the in the comments too. Even though I can't see, do you guys think the '90s was the best decade for hip hop? I hear that a lot. Like I think I heard Jada Kiss. You know, he he's been like, yeah, on tour pretty much ever since the last thing. Yeah, and just he, the verse. He was talking about the um. He was saying that the '90s was like the greatest era in music for hip hop. I think it I, was. I think it was. How, how y'all feel about that? How y'all feel about like the '90s? Was it the best era of hip hop? The fashion, the music. The, it was the most influential to me. Because mm, okay. um, think to my my favorite years is '94, '98, and um, I think those those main the main years '94 and '98 because '94. Um, like I said, you had um, Illmatic came out. Illmatic, I think, ready to die. Mm-hmm. Um, Red Man might have dropped that year. Into the Woo oh. was like I think maybe ninety five. Yeah, that was a good year for hip hop. The nineties, oh my gosh, like yo, like the movies that came out in the nineties. Everything, did, like Juice. Then we got Poetic Justice in the nineties. And I'm a movie head, so Juice for me, I remember um, I, I fell in love with that movie. Juice, okay. Juice. And I watched it with my daughter last year, and she loves it, and my son loves it. Like it's you know, what's crazy? What? Yes, not yesterday. What's today? Today. Thursday. Thursday. Yep. Sunday is the first time I watched Juice, not on BET. So I watched it on Amazon Prime. Oh, hold so up! I your it with your the first person. experience is watching it on BET. Oh, that was only time oh, I watched that it. Is, oh, so man. it was so much that was like cut out. Yes. And you know, you oh, didn't, I didn't get the cursing and the, the rawness. The rawness, everything. New Jersey yeah. Drive, oh, man. It's like they going crazy. 2000s was more about clicks and movement. I agree with that because I, I love, I went to the Rough Riders Cash Money Tour. Oh, man, I was a big Rough Riders here, yo. People love talking about hip-hop. People love talking about, yo. like, moments to reminisce on. That's what it, I don't know. Somebody said some. What you said? Somebody said. Yeah, somebody else agreed with the best year was ninety eight. I love ninety eight. So really? for me, ninety eight was a great year. Like I was um. I'm gonna tell my age. I don't care because to me, I don't care about talking about the age because the objective is to get older. Just don't look yeah. older. <laughs> so in ninety eight, it's so crazy. I can remember the years because that's what yeah. I was in. I was in the eighth grade. Okay. I, I made. I made the. Uh, I made the basketball team. Girls was feeling me. I had a great year that year. That was a good year. Um, Hip hop was out. Like I went to Mad tours. Um, I think that was was that the Jay Z tour. No matter of fact, ninety eight. It was it was so much going on hip hop. I, I loved that that whole year. I think that was the survival of the illest when you had mm-hmm. DMX. Um, damn, Onyx, Red Man, Method Man. I think it's Jay Z. It was like you know, like it was a whole Def Jam like mm. campaign. But that that was a great year, a great yeah. great. I think that no, did did Volume like yeah, Jay Z's Volume Two came out in ninety eight. That was ninety eight. I believe so. in my lifetime. Y'all help me out. Cause I remember that that navy blue. Uh, I'm sure CD. somebody in the comments know. They saying D M X was running shit. He was. Mm-hmm. Early late nineties had everything from clicks with bars, lyrical artists, mixtapes. Jay came to the DJs. He said, "Whoa, if somebody in here said they fifty two. That's all good, yo. Like you can't. Yeah. I think we shouldn't put an age on hip hop, yo. Cause look at the Rolling Stones. Look at uh, the, like the Beatles. Like rock and roll, they still tour. Like I, I that dope that. just turned fifty one. That's crazy, right? Yeah, yeah. See, that's, that's dope. So he looks good. Okay, 47, I love that's dope. that. I feel like I feel like um, that's one thing that I love about hip hop. It just connects all ages. Like you can be, bo- like me, I was born in the '90s, so people have experiences in the '90s, and they're already teenagers. And I was mm. born, you know, I'm probably like less than 
under ten. It is. It's time. weird to meet people that was born in like the nine, like you said, ninety two. Mm-hmm. And I remember that. I'm like, yo, I remember what grade I was in and everything. But it's <laughs> it's so crazy. I'm like, yo, you miss this, you miss that. But it's 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 so much better. You can go back and do all the research, which I know mm-hmm. you have already. Like, so that's mm-hmm. quiet. You see all these books here? Those are all hip hop books. Oh, do you do you have Kevin Lyle's book? Kevin Lyle's? Um, no. make it happen. No. That's a great book. That book came out. Uh, I want to say maybe '05, but it's a great book. That book. That book helped me to kind of be to where I am right now because a lot of stuff I learned in that book I took and I applied, and whether it was being an artist or it's still stuff I, I um apply now with you know working with Av. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I love that book. But okay, that's a great transition, by the way. What's up? Because the next topic that we was gonna get into is battle rap. All right. So how did you find battle rap? Like, how did you? Okay. Oh. Well, okay. Happen? The very my very first recollection of battle like battle rap as we know it. Or oh, you talking about like? Either. How did okay. I get into yes. It? Like, okay. I'm, I'm gonna say this style of battle and not necessarily like on wax. And then I want the people in the comments also to talk about um. What was the first battle they watched? So okay. I want them to put that there. But, okay, the first thing, that. okay, as far as battle rap, you know, like everybody in the, in the cafeteria, being on the table, mm-hmm. my verse is better than yours, like, mm-hmm. that that was that was it. Um, even for me going to parties, I, I tried my hand at it, but it was just more like spitting my verses against yours, like, on the spot. Mm-hmm. When it got into, like, it, there was like a, old school like HBO show with shells um there was some, there was some other artists that I knew about shells on the, you know as far as like on the mixtape see I can't think of the name of the actual event then mm-hmm. you got the um I think it was blaze battle that's what it was it was blaze battle mm-hmm. I started watching those copying all the DVDs and then of, of course this is way before 106 and part way before 106 but I would oh. get all the smack DVDs and I remember watching those, um, like, oh, this, this is fire. You know, everybody was like, hey, you got to get the Smack DVDs. You got to get them. And, you know, to wait till the end of the DVD to check out everything. And I, I had all of them. You know, I still got them at my mom's crib at the in the garage somewhere in the coat. What? You gotta I got to find them. I got them, yo. So it's like, from there, and I was always enthralled with anything hip-hop. Anything. Like, I was reading and watching. So I remember um, I was an avid reader of The Source. Double XL, rap mm-hmm. pages, uh, even Word Up magazine. Like I was, I was like one of them. Yeah. So when they were having like this, that's how I found out about Eminem and the uh, Rap Olympics and mm-hmm. stuff like that. So I was always watching that. And then after the DVDs, I kind of felt, you know, and of course I watched One Season Part all the time, mm-hmm. and I fell back from um, watch like battle rap as we know it as a sport before. It came mm-hmm. back in like 2012, right? Mm-hmm. I remember. Um, like, yeah. Well, like, oh, as you, I'm sorry, I say what well, far as URL. Okay, okay. Okay, so I remember this because um, I was working on a job, and I remember guys were still, you know, I thought, I thought Smack had, I didn't see the DVDs because you know, as the transition from uh, physical media to you know the digital, to YouTube, right? To YouTube, mm-hmm. I, it kind of died down, so I kind of got lost in that ship at first. Oh. Okay. So I heard people still talking about the battles and this. I said, yo, they still do that? Because I remember they were talking about T-Rex, T-Rex, T-Rex. And mm-hmm. to me, I never knew what he looked like. He just mm-hmm. sounded like some, some um, mythical Yo, everybody creature. said that. Everybody said, like, when you think about T-Rex, it's like he was like this myth that everyone yes. heard about but never saw. It was like, like when I hear stories, uh-huh. all, I, all you hear is, Rex was the man to kill. Rex, 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 Rex. And then you hear people say they never saw him. Like mm-hmm. Reed. I spoke to Reed. I had an interview with Reed. And he said that Rex was buzzing. And he came to New York. And the yeah. first thing he said was he wanted to battle Rex. But he never saw him. He just... It was it was crazy. Because like, like I say from there, I was in the studio. I'll never forget. I was in the studio. And I heard guys talking. We was all talking about stuff. And um, they were talking about battle. I said, they still do it. I said, they still do it. Like, and it was like, yeah, T Rex, T Rex. Like, yo, that's all I would hear. Yo, T Rex is crazy. Yo, T Rex is crazy. So to me, I'm like, yo, it's the myth. I'm like, yo, who is this? T-? I keep hearing about him. I never, mm-hmm. I know what he looks like. Mm-hmm. So I think 
maybe fast forward maybe a couple months, um, I, I went on YouTube. I started looking up. I, I did all my research. I'm talking about I was enthralled with everybody. Like Charlie Clips was my favorite. Um, I started doing all my homework. This is like 2012, 2013. Like mm -hmm. all I listen to like is my headphones at work or like when I was on lunch break, I'm, I'm watching Mad Battle. All of them. Like I'm talking about going through everybody's catalog. I would watch all the jazzes battles or watch all the mm -hmm. clips battles. Mm -hmm. And then you know how they give you the um, story. Somebody would reference something. Oh, I got to go watch Hitman and Arsenal. So yeah, 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 I, yeah. I just, I just, I did all my homework. This is like 2012, 2013. I, I mm -hmm. was fell in love with it. And then yes. I, I think I think my very first URL event, like I started attempting, I would go dolo. I would catch a okay. Chinese bus from Virginia up to New York. Um, mm -hmm. I, I want to say it was Perfect Day to Die. Or it might have been, that's the only one I can remember the name of it. Or I, I know yeah. I definitely seen, I went to Gnome, Gnome 5. I Wait, think, who was on that card, A Perfect Day to Die? That's that's actually that was the I well, that was well actually before then I had a I had a, I went to an event before then but I just can't remember the name of it because oh, okay. um the reason I don't want to jump ahead but the reason I remember that because I was going to like two or three events by myself and then I started going with um one of my homeboys his name Superstar Style he's a battle rapper too mm -hmm. and um, we would just go back into the events but I remember one of the events I went to. Av had a PG, but he called me. I don't know how. I mean, we we were. I'll, I'll say we'll get into that how I met him too. But I'll never forget how somehow he got my number. And he called me, and he called me. He's like, "Yo, you still in New York?" I was like, "Man, I'm literally about to step back onto the bus to go back to Virginia." He mm -hmm. was like, "Ah, oh, damn." I said, "But yo, the next PG you got, I'll come through and support." You know what I'm saying? So the next event, because I was like I said, I was going to like two of two prior events before. That. I just can't remember the name of them. But then after that, I remember Perfect Day to Die. Mm -hmm. And I went to that, and that's when he battled Nunna and the PG. Uh -huh. Yeah. But on that Perfect Day to Die card, I can't remember who it was, but I. Nun Nun? Yeah, he battled Nun Nun on the Perfect Day to Die card. I mean, the Perfect Day to Die PG. It could have been him or Mike P. I could be correct. I mean, I could be incorrect. But I know the first PG I went. I've I've watched Ab Battle was the none none battle. Mm. That was crazy. But um so I was like I turned into like a fan going to all these events. Like I was like I'm telling you, I was at work using their printer to print out my URL tickets, like <laughs> stuff like that. Like I, I can't wait to it. It was nothing like it. So I was like that was like my little like piece of hip hop that it kind of fed me, you know, fed my my need for that, you know. Mm -hmm. And it was lyrical, like lyrical battle. I, everybody always asks me, how would you describe battle rap? I tell them, it's like lyrical boxing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. so, like, mm -hmm. so it's so crazy. I think about that now, like from where I was I was just a fan, like anybody else just watching, to me even being in the business, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or being enthralled in it with Av and being able to help or assist or contribute and it's dope to me. I always stay It's so surreal. It's, yo, you, yeah. you want to know what's so crazy? Yeah. It's so funny that you say that because... Um, Thank you. Suge and Clips was on that card. Thank you. Suge and Clips was on A Perfect Day to Die? No, no. I think they're talking about that card. Well, who was on that card? Oh, okay. It was Suge versus tell Clips. You, I did watch that. Did they tell you in the comments... What's the first battle they ever saw? Oh, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, what was the y'all hear that? What was the first battle that made y'all fall in love with battle rap? Yes, uh, for me, the first battle I ever watched was Reed versus Trigger. No, 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 oh, online. Oh, it, okay, it happened in threes. Rich Dollars. Mm. It was MySpace. Rich Dollars sent me his battle on MySpace, wow. but I was young. I was like 14. Uh huh. So I it and the caption said. Hey, re watch my battle, and you know I'm young, so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna watch. <laughs> you know, I didn't know it was spam. Yeah. So I click it, I watch the battle. I'm like, yo, this is fire. I want to know some more, but I didn't know what it was called. So I typed on Ooh, YouTube. They got some two men ones. rapping at each other because <laughs> I didn't know what it was called. And then Reed and Trigger popped up, and then Cassidy and Freeway. So I watched three battles in one day, and that was my introduction to battle rap. They got a few. They so a lot of people are putting Cassidy and Freeway. 
Yep, that was the one um, and only. Clips vs. Rock Part 1. Okay, Clips oh, and Rock, man. that was the one. I saw some other ones. Somebody said Nemesis. I missed it. I, I had screenshot of it. Hold on, I'm going to go to it. But there's... Hold on, let me go to it. Uh, uh, uh. There's a lot. Somebody said Nemesis. I, I, I heard that. Um, Nemesis? They're talking about the female one? Oh, then, oh, there was another Nemesis back in, um, I want to say, was it Grind Time, baby? Mm-hmm. But uh, let me see what I just saw. Grind Time, Fight Club. Uh, they saying Reed. I see a lot of Reed. Reed was one of my rich, first. Rich, rich, rich uh, Dollars. Resume yep. is amazing. Who's that? Uh, they saying Rich Rich Resume was amazing. Rich versus? They say then Reed, all of them. All the Reed battles. That's what I'm seeing. I know all of Reed's rounds by heart. <laughs> they saying Clips versus Fred the Godson. Oh, I never heard I that. I heard about that, but I never seen it. Have I? Wow. wow. Clips and Fred the Godson? Okay. Rest in peace to him, man. Yeah. It was on a smack DVD. Nemesis versus X Factor. I've heard about that. Nemesis? Wow. I've never heard that. Okay. But that's that's what I'm seeing. They saying Moot 30 bag. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, like, so that's how I got into, like, as far as Love and Battle Rock. Like, I saw 8 Mile, like, mm-hmm. numerous times. I remember working in the mall, and 8 Mile came out. As soon as I got off, I went right to the theater. Stayed in there, like, watched it immediately, and then watched it again. Like, I just yeah. fell in love with it. But it's not like, super like commercialized like far as the way I got into it like how I liked it but it was like that was one of the things that's one of my favorite artists this is an anti this is an autobiographical kind of you know movie about him. yeah yeah it was dope and it's like like everything in hip hop it's that underdog story mm-hmm. it's that the okay so let me ask you. you this question yeah okay so you said something earlier that I could 100% identify with like you know going from being a fan yeah. to then being in the culture it's that's what I was just saying to you. Like sometimes it still blows blows my mind that I could just call goods because that was the first battle I ever saw. That, that's... Or like earlier today, I spoke to Lux on the phone for maybe about an hour, and he's one of my friends. And it's kind of like, that's yo, crazy. I just got off the phone with Lux. You know, like... that's crazy. She flexing on us. That's but that's real oh, no, though. No, 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 no. That's no, 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 no. But that's that's dope though. That's that's, that's how it is because it's like at the end of the day, we're all people. But but with not... Ab too, I have yeah. been telling. You you already know this yeah. story. I have been telling Uncle Rob for a long time, like, I want to meet Av. I want to interview Av. I, this is three years I've been waiting to mm-hmm. talk to Av. And then I met him in person, and he was so locked in. He was battling Shine that day. Oh, I re- oh yeah, yeah. And I kind of felt sad because he was, like, so locked in that when I was like, hi, he was like, what's up? And I was like, oh. You know what's crazy? <laughs> <laughs> you know what's crazy? I wish I had $100 for every time someone or a fan so I said, yo, I don't think Av like me, yo. I don't think Av rock Yo, me. I was like, he don't like, like me. No, bro, he just be focused. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. He be, locked, he be locked in. But over the past years, I definitely would say from him beating COVID, he's been super personal. Like, we, we, we've had talks where it's like, they don't know how funny you are. Like, or, Oh, you know, no, Av is hilarious. He's no, hilarious. When you, all right, before, okay, so like a couple things, right? Yeah. Since we're on the topic of Av, right? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm going to ask him this too, then, you know, when I get a chance to talk to him. But um, That's dope. do you think that he should incorporate that sense of humor in his material? I think he's been sprinkling it in. Like, um, I, okay, because the first, okay, I'm trying to think one of the funniest, I, I wouldn't, because I, what I say, I'm trying to think about this. Everybody he tried to show guys. some humor. He tried to show some humor versus ice. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. I think he's feeling like everybody want to appreciate it. Like, he takes some of the constructive criticism, like when they say he didn't have performance. But if you go back and watch him versus Mav, or watch him versus... Arsenal. Arsenal, yes. I love that. Or even in the chess battle. He wasn't just standing there. He was moving to skip to my loo. It's like mm-hmm. he's moving. Or oh, definitely watch him in the JC battle. He was funny in JC's battle. Mm-hmm. Like he he's been sprinkling it in, but yeah, no, I, think, I, I love yeah. the um, I love uh, Arsenal. Yeah, and Jada Nightwing. He was he was funny in that battle, and oh, oh in the Fonz battle too. His third against Fonz. Wait, Jada Nightwing. I don't see it. I don't see it. 
when he's talking about the wing. Oh, I can't see it in my head. Oh, salute. Yeah, y'all did look. Y'all hooked me up with the swisher. I appreciate that. <laughs> they, talk, I, they said I was the one looking mean, but I was mad cool. I wasn't looking mean. I was just like really mad focused. Like, Wait, that you was mean? I don't, I, I'm always chilling. But they yeah, said you once, are. Yeah, I be chilling. You probably, you're like one of the warmest people they I've ever know met in Battle Rap. LW underscore one wants to know, have you, have you interviewed with Clips? Have you? Not yet? Or is it in the works? It's in the works. It's in the works. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. And Avs two, thank you. Avs two on two with Fawn. That I loved it. one of the greatest two on two. I liked Av versus Fawn's period. Like the, yeah. when they, that battle was crazy. And that, that was Av's like return, right? Yeah. That was, yeah. that was, oh, no, no, his, his return was against DNA. Oh, but, okay, okay, okay. But when okay. he battled in that, uh, him, but him battling Fonz, I, I, I was, I was in shock, but I was, I could tell he was having fun. He was having yeah. fun. He was back into the swing of things. He was trying to get used to the caffeine room because it was like, maybe like 20 people in the room at the time, but mm. he was trying to get used to it. But, that, but yeah, so to answer your question, I think, I think he's, he's, He's d dealing with. It. He's trying to figure out. I'm gonna give him a little bit because I don't know if everybody will appreciate that. Because he mm -hmm. he does still have his his uh, core fans who love when he's mad aggressive, up in your face, bully with the mask. Yeah. You got the, the punches and the wittiness and the talking to. So I think yeah, he's, yeah, he's I trying to maneuver both. I think Ab is amazing. He's yeah. he's he's dope. Okay, so before before I started going crazy about Ab, mm -hmm. um, we were talking about Eight Mile, and I was gonna ask you, um. What do you think about the the way battle rap has evolved? Like going mm -hmm. from Smack DVD and being even the Lions Den, like there was a no, what was that a sneak, uh, not a sneaker store, was that but a like a store. Was, I don't or know, it looked like some type of store. Like, yeah, like Black Star, yeah. things like that. Um, uh, um, to now caffeine, like what do you think about the um the way it's evolved? And I I guess the people in the comments can say I, their thoughts too. To me, I feel like. We we should be thankful every day that Beasley and Smack cross paths or they were introduced mm. to each other to me. Because you think about it, like, Smack was the cameraman. Yeah. You know, which is nothing wrong with that because we need the footage. So I'm thankful mm -hmm. for that. The coach is yeah. thankful for that. But from him, for him, Beasley, Chico, even Norbs at the time. Mm -hmm, for them mm -hmm. all to have that vision, I'm not saying they invented what we know as battle rap today, but they damn sure innovated it. Yeah. You know? yeah. So I feel good when I can tell people, um, yeah, I work with I work with Av. He's he's on. You ever heard of Smack URL? It's the yeah. NBA of battle rap, and that's that's the best way you can put it. So I feel like to see where it's come from now, you gotta have that vision. I just always reflect and think like. I'm glad those two met across paths. Mm -hmm. And um That's a good way to look at it. Yeah, all the contributions they get, because you think about it, man. If, if Smack and Beasley don't really meet, they come together and form that team to have that business plan. And mm -hmm. everybody else, I don't want to just exclude everybody else, but you know, even with Nose, you gotta have Nose to be the the, the, the hella scout. Mm -hmm. And you gotta have all these other leagues where, you know, like DNA, Hollow came from Grime Time, and it's like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. everything is just it's crazy watching it to where we are now. So I, I love it. I love it. I'm thankful for it. And uh, mm -hmm. it could be a headache sometimes, but I think it's only a headache when you feed the negative stuff that gives you that trouble, you know? But the, for the rest of it, for the most part, I love the culture. It's all okay. ours. We love it. Yeah. And I think we should take care of it. That's just that's you, I, I agree with you. And I, I do. I, that's a, that's actually an amazing way to look at it, saying, you know, thankful for Smack and Beasley Media because I never thought of it like that. Mm. Um, but you know, in, okay, so you see how Mook and Rock just dropped, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Let me tell you something. Mook's, what round was that when he was talking about, when he said to Smack, how you let these dudes mess up my... The first. Oh, that I, was the first I, round? I think, I, I want to believe that was Mook's first. Okay. Because his approach was like, yo, how you let them in my house? Yeah, okay, up. okay. Yeah. All right, so we have people like Mook and even Lux or mm -hmm. Rex who came from that era, or even Goods, right? Yeah. Do you think that um, 
is necessary for them to adjust to this day and age or should they stick to the for what we know them for like the essence of why we fell in love with Mook and Lux and, um, and those guys okay I'm gonna make sure I have your, your question correct you, you're asking is it okay for them to stick to what they kind of like what we know them for what we fell in yes. love with them for um, or do they need to adjust to now I feel like it's it's a little bit it's a little bit of both. Cause think okay. about it. With our favorite artists, we love them when they first come out, right? I, I'll use J Cole. I use I'll I'll use J Cole as a, as a uh, example. Okay. And you can we can go back to Mook and Lux. Mm-hmm. Um, you you feel like when you first found them on the mix up or any artist, it ain't gotta be J Cole. It could be any artist. But when you first discovered them, you mm-hmm. feel like oh, then nobody else is on this. You feel. Not not in the funny, but it's like a more intimate thing because you you're you're appreciating what they're saying, you're relating, you feel like this is somebody that nobody's on yet. So you fell in love with them from your first introduction to seeing them. Very true. Then times change because if you don't evolve, you die. Mm-hmm. So I think it's the same thing applies to battle rap with mm-hmm. Mook, um, Mook and Lux, Mook Lux, even Rex. Rex is mm-hmm. something different. I'm gonna put Rex over here because oh. Mook. We we'll start with Mook. He, he only comes outside when it's, I don't want to say when it's beneficial to him, but when he feels like it. And he's right. he's had that fortitude and that clout to be able to do that. To do that, yeah. But I feel like he should evolve. Like, I mean, you got to evolve. It's like, you still do what you do, what we fell in love with. Because mm-hmm. you'll have some people feeling like, man, he still sound dated. You don't want to sound dated, but you mm-hmm. want to get glimpses of what you did back then, but just polish it. Polish yeah. it and bring it up to date and, not saying he doesn't do that, but I feel like that's what he's done to him, especially Lux. Lux yeah, okay, is just, okay, good. I'm, I'm yeah. glad you. Uh huh. I'm, I'm glad you said that, right? Yeah. Now here's the thing, right? And this is something that I've been struggling with for a long time, mm-hmm. with regards to Lux, right? I agree. I always see people talking on Twitter, and people in the comments can say this. And this is a question I swear I've always wanted to ask the whole culture. Uh huh. Do you think that the battle rap culture has a a fascination with that whole idea of gray hoodie Lux as mm. opposed to who he's evolved into? Now, please, Kenny, okay. don't try to, like, polish it because it's Lux. Because you know, I'll be telling no. Lux to his face. Okay, you know what I it is? I don't want to see no gray hoodie Lux. You know what it is? It's like, how can I, how can I use this? It's, it's something dear to people. It's it's like a kid when they first see their favorite basketball player. I saw mm-hmm. you. You were wearing the black socks. This mm-hmm. was on, and I always resonated those black socks with my favorite player when I seen you, and I hold that dear to me. Mm-hmm. So I think fans in battle rap when they see Lux in the hoodie, for a lot of people that might have been their first recollection of him, and they'll mm-hmm. never forget how they felt, where they were at when they seen it. Um. How they were in awe, and it was just like, oh my god, this is, this is incredible, mm-hmm. and I think they still want that. It's almost like, it's almost like drugs, like not mm-hmm. not the bad rapper drugs, but like drugs. They're still chasing that same high. Mm-hmm. So it's not that you don't appreciate what Lux is bringing when you wow. see him, but you're still holding him like I'm still chasing that same high. And so I, okay, so uh, with, okay, so keeping up with the same with the same um, symbolism, right? Mm-hmm. And I want people in the comments to answer this too. If Gray Hoodie Lux gave you your first high, mm-hmm. did what was his? Did did Lux versus Surf get you high? <laughs> that nah, that was mid. That was mid. <laughs> that if was that mid. Makes sense, you know what I'm saying? It like, wasn't whack, but it was mid. And you know what it is? It's not. It's not his fault. But he set the bar so high. I think every wait, artist. Wait, who said the bar high? Gray hoodie Lux. Yeah, Lux himself. Cause think okay. about it. If you're, if you're your, if you're your own competition, mm-hmm. or your your own biggest critic, when you come out the gate like that, and you set the bar like that high, now everybody you're giving everybody the expectation of ooh he's gonna do that. But we're all human. You know yeah. you're not gonna. You're not going to score 40 every night, you know? Okay. 
I'm glad you said we're all human. Yeah. Because that's one thing I'll be seeing on Twitter that I can't stand. Mm -hmm. People seem to not think Lux is human. Yeah. But Am I lying? Or can, can nah, you tell it's, me it's if it's they the what it's the saying mystique, in the comments? It's, it's the mystique of Lux. Because when you think of Lux, you think of discipline. So, I mean, to me, he's disciplined. He's a tactician. He's um very strategic. <laughs> I think very strategic. Mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. he's not going to come outside. He's not going to take an opponent he has something to say to you. And if he, when he and when he does have something to say to you, he's going to make sure he says it. Yeah. In the best, um, wittiest way that you could still go back and dissect a lot of Lux's bars, even his his From freestyle on Funk Flex. Like, you can still go back and dissect that. I'm obsessed with that freestyle. I know by heart. You do? <laughs> oh, you different. Y'all hear you, that? She know, she know that whole freestyle right by heart. <laughs> wow. I know that whole freestyle by heart. I That's how I met Lux, because I took what? that freestyle, and I taught it at Harvard. And then he that's saw it. Right. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. I, you know, I, I did see, Yeah, that's... That yeah. salute, salute. Yeah, yeah. it just made it. It just made, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think no, next month makes like two or two years or something like that since that. Ooh. Since that, I think I'm responsible for half of those million views. <laughs> Yo, you, yeah, you, yeah. You more like you know another one that you might want to do a break a breakdown on. Or I would I would like to see is the Mickey Fax one, the Mickey Fax credit one. Oh yes, I, I, I was supposed to. I was. I have something. Coming up with that's oh yeah okay cool that was yeah wild. something I'm not gonna do it by myself I'm gonna do it with him in person okay so um with regards to to um to to battle rap um so Ice came outside okay yeah he did he did Ice came outside what did you think of Ice's performance I thought Ice did well Ice I think Ice did way better than people expected. He he did he did well he rapped like fourteen minutes each round but <laughs> he did well respect yeah, respect saying, to I'm the wolf. Kidding. Ab kept saying I ain't gotta rap yo you know what part had me weak I'm not when biased. I think huh <laughs> now they're saying I'm biased <laughs> I'm not <laughs> biased I respect the wolf you know what had me weak when um Ab like I mean um I right. like walked over to the side uh -huh. and Ab said come here come here <laughs> yeah 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 yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Ab is a funny dude. Who like? <laughs> I was like, yo, he's stupid for that. Yeah, I, I, he did, he did really, really well. Ab, Ab was regular Ab. He was swinging. You know what back I think? Back, punching. Cause you, Cause you know what it was? Ab rope doped him in the first. Like if y'all go back and watch and dissect the Ab was like. Ab went first, right? Yeah, but his yeah. first round was saying, "I respect you. I ain't gonna get crazy. Don't get crazy with me." Yeah. And um. My phone, my daughter kept saying. But um, he was like, it was more like a, a bait you in type of thing. And mm -hmm. that's why you see in the second round, he went crazy. Like, he was like, now look, I told your ass I wasn't going to get disrespectful. He taking off the chains. He's showing his performances, witty, funny side. And then I think that's the round that everybody appreciates. Is this, we, if we're being honest, we were all expecting three rounds in his second round. His third was fire too. But I think his second was more appreciated. Um, that's, that's ice. Yeah, against ice, because that's what we were all waiting for, expecting that. But that's I like he wait when he broke it down to me mm -hmm. the day of when he was about to do in his approach. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, because I have to remind you, I didn't hear the bars yet. Mm -hmm. So when I saw the oh, okay, I was get, I got it. And okay. you know, this is one of the things to go back and watch. But I, ice did great. Like I mean, ice, ice did good. I mean. I can't say nothing bad about it. He just rap long. He just rap longer than Ab. But, he okay. do. Yeah. Okay, so, I can't say nothing bad, but I feel like Ab still took the second and the third. Okay. So, all right. So let's 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 do this. Let, if we're talking about legends, right? Yeah. If we're talking about Mook, Rex, mm -hmm. and Lux, and I want people in the comments to answer. Okay. Mook, Rex, and Lux. Whew, okay. If you could see Ab against any of those three, who would it be? Mook. Okay. Him and T-Rex have a mutual respect for each other, where it's like, they, Rex even, you know, they say, I'm not battling you. I think they, 
they got they got history as far as the same people and everything. So they they they, they have a, a real respect for each other. And I mm-hmm. know Rex is one of Av's favorites too. That's what kind of wanted to get him into made this shit possible. Mm-hmm. He wanted to get in the battle rap, you know. Um, oh, I would okay, like, that's nice. I would like to see him against Mook. Cause you know why? <laughs> Cause I, I think one, they would have Av as the underdog, of course. Mm-hmm. And I think that I know. I think that I know that fuels Av as like, oh, they counting me out. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. And he went here. I think he have a point to prove against Mook. And it's like more eyes on that battle. And it's like he'll get the just do. Not saying he doesn't get the just do he deserves, but sometimes. Is underappreciated, but I think him that'll push his team. I think that'll push him to. I might. Even, it might. Yeah. I think that'll push him more than it did against Nitty. Because I know. Wow. Because I know him against Nitty. Him preparing for Nitty was mm-hmm. one of like one of the hardest things or more difficult things he said he had to do because. Wow. There was a lot of things in place for that, but I, I would like mm-hmm. to see him against Moose just for. One, for me, I'm always thinking business. Well, just me for the marketing, mm-hmm. the promotion, mm-hmm. the odds that are going to be on it. It's almost three to one odds because it can be like, Mook is going to kill him. You see what he did to Rock and blah, 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 and this and that. Yeah, and then yeah. it's like, Av is going to come and sh- uh, not shock the world, even if he makes it close and debatable. Or if he just beats him flat out, I'm like, here we go. Wow. Now Mook it's like, well, who the hell is this kid? Like, that he been here forever, but it's like, I'm thinking of it like that. So, yo, the day they announce something like Mook and Av, I think it's just good. Ah, um, that would be that'll be fire. That'll be that'll be crazy. And one, I would respect him for taking it. I would I would respect him for for taking it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Cause I feel like when Av first came into the game, or even still now, a lot of a lot of our favorites or a lot of these Mount Rushmore guys were like. I've heard for myself. I heard out of their mouth. I'm not standing in front of that shit. Verbatim, <laughs> end quote. <laughs> and I'm not, I'll never say who it was, but I heard them say it. I heard wow. them saying, I was like, oh, okay. And it's like, so they respect them. Yeah. But I think a lot of people are like, I don't want to pr- try to prep for that and to stand in front of that. Prep for so, What are the people in the comments saying? What, uh, what do y'all think? If... If it was Mook, Lux, and who you say Rex, who would y'all want to see Av battle? Lock, I see a Mook. Um, let me see. I think next should be Mook, Mook wow. versus Clip. Yeah. I see a lot of Mook. Okay. They want to see Mook versus Clip. I don't know if I want to see Hollow. <laughs> Hollow was an idiot. <laughs> they say Rex going to die. But the only only thing. I wouldn't mind seeing Av versus Rex because you think about it. I know that's for him, to me, in my opinion. This, this mm-hmm. not. I haven't heard him say it, but I know that's like one of that's that's one of his guys. Because I've always been a Clips guy. He always been a Rex guy. So when they battle, I'm like, yeah, and I, I told like Rex, like Clips is you know. So we always had like a little funny back and forth. But I mm-hmm. think him, if he had to battle Rex, Rex that to me, I feel like that would be one of his. I want his dream magic, okay. but it's kind of like a, I don't want to say a mirror, it's more like, I you think, you watching. Think Rex, do you think Rex is going to try to do what Av does and punch? Oh, or Rex is going to be Rex? I think Rex is just going to be Rex, because Rex, okay. Rex is smart at knowing what his, what his crowd loves, what they come to see him for, that's what he yeah. do. Yeah, we're going to see the hat. <laughs> the hat, all of that, the spin, not, not the spin, but just like, Hand on the hip, and <laughs> just playing it like is is Rex is Rex, man. Rex has seen every era of battle rap from the DVD, yeah, to the YouTube to the caffeine. And you, okay, <clears throat> you know what? You right about that. Rex is Rex is real like <laughs> a real like dinosaur, yo. Like he, like straight up, yo. Like he got a, what do you say? I got I got a bottle. I got a battle rap life lifespan. And if you look at his resume, and I mean, right, just every era. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. I never thought of it. Okay, so if you can see any three of 
of, out of these three for Ab, what would it be? Casey, E Heart, and Flames. Or Flames. Casey, E Heart, or Flames? Lady Flames? <sighs> okay, I got. You. Okay, my first <laughs> instinct is to say Casey. Okay. Because I, I love. I love what the Bardashians have done and built, and I just rock with. I rock with one punchlines and charisma. I like that. Okay. And those those three ladies have it, in my opinion. They don't have they the mark. They're marketable. They do what they do. They hate it. They're almost like the mean girls in high school, like mm. like the popular girls. Everybody's like, oh, I can't stand them, but I can't help but to love them because they just them. Yeah, yeah. So I would yeah. say Casey. For the the look. Okay, for okay. The, the eyes, the the show. Yeah. But the better battle would be him in E Heart. Okay. Because I know he I know he, he I know he respects all three, but I know he respects E Heart. Okay. I would I would like that too. Yeah. But I love me some flames though. I, yo, she's she's fire. I love flames. She's what are the people in the comments thinking? They saying heart, E Heart. Heart would be crazy. E heart. So you can't hear. So the hopefully we get that on the th on the next um. What's the what's the card called? Kings and Queens, right? Kings versus Queens. Yeah, but you know what? I have we we've talked about it because um, he said he would never battle a female. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. He said he has his reason. I'll let you, when you talk to him, I'll let you ask him why. But, okay. Because of course everybody makes. It makes sense for me. I would like him and him versus official. That would oh. be a punch fest. But and they 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 talked a little stuff back and forth before, so I think that would be cool. Now you know what I feel like. This may sound weird, but I feel like Ab versus I mean Ab and official mm -hmm. may be a little bit better if they're on the same side. Like oh, oh, you got like a two on two. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe. That's that's my that's a first. I never I never thought about that. Maybe, maybe. But then again, maybe they too much of like I don't know. If Ab could, okay. So let's mm -hmm. the better the next question I'm gonna come up with. Right. If Ab did do a two on two with someone, who would you pick? Let me see, Ooh. Vixen. Okay. Um, Coffee. Mm. Or forty. Mm. <laughs> I just pick any names. <laughs> Ooh. The chat is going crazy. They're saying Ab and Official versus Vixen and DNA. That's not bad. I might have screenshot that because I need that. That might how that be. Um somebody said none of the above. Okay, but I'm okay. Vixen? Who else? I don't remember because I just made it up. Damn. Um, who was it, y'all? Oh, Vixen, Coffee. Coffee, Vixen Coffee, and you said. Um, uh, who the heck did I say? Damn. Who was it, y'all? Vixen Coffee or. Oh, 40. I think I said oh, and 40. Oh, 40 bars. Okay. And this is somebody, if he had to battle any of those three? No, if he had to team two oh, the two. oh, team up with. Oh, Vixen. I feel like him and Vixen would come up with something crazy. Really? She's a performer. I can see it already now. She going crazy. Be like, hold up, baby, I got this. And <laughs> pushes it. I, I can see it. I can see it, yo. Like, yeah. And I, yeah. It, but forty, I That's respect true. forty. I respect forty for her branding and everything she's contributed to this uh, female battle rap period. But I would be worried about the prep. That's the only reason I wouldn't say okay. Forty. Okay. Cause, wow. Cause just because of her preparation. I respect her. She's one of the elites. When you talk about female battle rap, no mm -hmm. matter what, slip ups or whatever, she, you can't talk female battle rap without saying 40. Mm -hmm. Respectfully, you know. But mm -hmm. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know. Yeah, she chokes. Does it right? Great. I'm not PC. I'm just keeping it real. You know what is it? <laughs> 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 no, for real, yo. <laughs> For real, that's how I feel, yo. Like uh, I feel like, okay, it would be you know it'd be crazy. All right, okay. Him and Vixen, I, I can see it, yo. Ooh. Well, I'm excited. I can't wait to like 
Um, I, there's so many other. They are crazy. They talking about Av would carry her choke. <laughs> Do you think he would? He he probably would. He probably. I mean, he can. He's capable. Yeah, he is capable. I, I don't think I've ever seen him choke. Nah, they say Miss Hustle too. Oh, Miss Hustle. Okay. Ooh. He would have to focus, man. I don't know if he would be able to focus around Miss Hustle. <laughs> <laughs> and write his bars, yo. I was like, look, come on, man. Y'all rounds ready? Oh, my God. <laughs> That'll be crazy. But any, of those, uh, any of these ladies, like any, I, I, no, I'm not saying that like, but like, it would be mm-hmm. tough, especially 40. I can't, I wouldn't, 40 would distract anybody. Respect. Mm-hmm. But that's the only thing would have me um, reserved about matching those two together to team up against anybody just because of the choking, the choking, situation. the preparation, yo, and yeah. I, you know, nobody wants to get up there. Hustle Avenue. <laughs> oh my God! Somebody's talking about super fat, like <laughs> hilarious. They, they are silly, yo. You they crazy? Hustle got two rounds. <laughs> that is. I so caught funny. that. Hustle <laughs> Avenue. Shout out to Terry, yo. What's up, man? Yo. Kenny, would you battle rap? Me? Nah, not at this stage. I'm just. Oh, okay. I'm behind the scenes. I feel like um. The good thing about it is, when you find your kind, when you find your purpose or mm-hmm. what you kind of pushed into. Mm-hmm. So I feel like my position is to um, help whoever I believe in reach their goal or reach their dream. So that's that's my position. That's the position I play. So anywhere I can assist, contribute to that, that's what I do. Is App your only client? Yes, I've had I've had um. I've been approached. I've been approached by other battlers and stuff, or they asked me to listen to their battles and give them critiques and stuff like that. Yeah. Or, you know, I try to I try to throw the oop. I try to throw the oop. Like if I, if I see a battle or something, I try to push it to P or the staff or yo check this person out or do this. So, mm-hmm. but managing, I feel like if I'm being honest, this is this is just me. Mm-hmm. I feel like when managing, I want to focus on getting. The client I'm working with, or you know, whoever I'm working with, I want to get them to the point where they, excuse me, where they are good. You know, yeah. I feel like sometimes when people have a stable of artists, and that's that's good. They're good. Maybe they're good at multitasking and stuff. Not saying I'm not, but sometimes you need to focus at the task at hand. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, yo, let's let's get this together. Once you good and you established and you got this, and boom, then mm-hmm. I might take on another client under my wing that I. That I see, cause I do think about it. I see other, I see other um, battlers, and I'm looking. I'm like, okay, he's 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 got the mark of markability. Mm-hmm. He um he has the potential. He has the charisma, or he has the it factor, or he's witty or something. I'd be like, he's need to tighten this up or. Mm, so or like, it, okay, it. so for instance, like the Ultimate Madness four guys, right? Uh huh. Um. Do you see anyone in there that you uh, you don't have to name names, but if you, well, maybe you should name names. But no, I'll talk about it. We can talk. Let's straight out that TV. We gonna keep it real. <laughs> okay, so, um, any of those guys you find, um, like you know what? I like this young guy. I, who I, he, who he, who's a star? Yes. Um, stra- uh, right off hand, Kid Slade. Kid okay. Slade to me. I don't want to say he's 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 big stage ready, but mm. you damn sure could put him on a born legacy or some of these other cards mm. and watch him transition into to, to almost like I want to say the same path. Mm. But if you have a system that works, you see it like he could damn near be right behind Easy to Block Cap. Mm. I, I, like here, if they, if there was anybody out of the tournament. And then I could pick and I'd be like, okay, I could work with that client or work with that mm-hmm. artist mm-hmm. or just contribute to something. I would say Kid Slade. Mm. He, okay. He, he believes in himself. You got to do that. All battlers believe in themselves. But yeah. he believes in himself and he's like, yo, this is me. To me, with him in the tournament, it wasn't even about him winning the tournament. I always, I've been saying. Wait, he won? It's over? No, 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 no. Oh. We, we got, we got the, the semifinals this weekend. But my, okay. my, no, what I'm saying is, to me, him, Kid Slade being in the tournament, 
was more of a, a tryout, like an audition almost, like an audition. Like, mm-hmm. you are L, this is me. Keep it out. Like, I might not win this money, but y'all are going to be talking about me. Y'all going to remember me. Y'all going to talk about me. And he's, we still are. He's still in the tournament? Plug talk. Like, everybody. No, he, he got, he, um, he lost last week or the two weeks ago. Oh, I haven't, I haven't been keep. Elijah Straight is my friend, and once he was out, I ain't watched no more. For real? Oh, I'm <laughs> that's loyalty. I like that. But he, he's, he's dope too. Yeah. He's I put amazing. him. I put him in the category. I don't want to categorize him, but if I had to, he's a great content writer. Like yes. I wouldn't mind seeing him and B Dot, um, him and Emerson Kennedy. Mm. Um, no. And I don't want to just say I don't want to just say the Christian battlers, but those battlers that come with that content, that substance, that's heavy substance. You want to know what's so crazy? What's um, yeah, B Dot, JC, yeah. Chilla, Wait. oh my God, Elijah Straight and Chilla, that would be crazy. Shout out to uh, Dr. Hugh Pe- Hugh Petty, yo, that's fire. The JC Elijah guy. is mm. one of my closest friends, and when I met him, I met him about two years ago. Who we talking about? Him, huh? Who who are we talking about? E Elijah. Elijah Straight, okay. Um, I met him about two years ago at on um the Christian Battle Rap League. Okay. Overflow. And I went there and I saw him. And that battle, I tapped him on his shoulder and I said, You're a star. And we've been close ever since. That's and I know all his battles. So you got the eye for the talent. Some people just have it. It's like yeah. you can go to a lot of events, but when you, you leave, you know, oh, that person has it. Yeah, I, he's a I star. felt like that at a couple of events. And the last one that I remember is when Ace battled uh, Fuse the General. When mm-hmm. I first saw Ace, I mean, battle, I was like, oh, man, he was saying some stuff that hit, was hitting me in the heart. Like, Ace? Ace, I mean, when he battled Fuse the General, I was like, yo, dude gonna be a star. Mm, wow. I, I, gotta, I, I gotta pay attention to um, Kid Slade a little more, because like I said, I didn't watch um, more of it. Yeah. No, but he, I only, even that first round, Mm-hmm. I only watched Elijah's battle. <laughs> For, he Elijah's dope. He I, I I think with him you're not gonna have a problem. He's gonna be in rotation. Watch. Yeah. And then the yeah. uproar, the way people were like, no, he won. And then when he, it dropping on the app, he's gonna be put in rotation. Yo, I'm not gonna lie to you. I was not expecting that the, the response that he got he, from. He's, he's the one culture. of those names. A lot of people still feel to this day that he should still be in. That he, yeah, Bose definitely. I think Bose, Bose Bambino has potential too. He was my pick. I thought he was gonna win, but um, yeah. And they, they got she she happens work winning too. He has something too. I think no matter so, who he battles, it's gonna be a style clash. Who's in the finals? Okay, you got real name Brandon from the West Coast versus NXT or uh, next. I keep it next. So it's West West on West. And then on the on the mid Midwest, you got Trufo versus MVP from St. Louis. So those are only two battles. <clears throat> That's it. The final four. Wow. Yeah. And then Summer Madness. I'm going to Summer Madness. Yeah. I'm gonna be there. I'll be there. I can't wait. The last big event I went to was the Reloaded joint. Re- oh, in, really? In New York. With, when the oh, when the melee. Happened. Yeah, the melee happened. Yeah, yeah. Oh mm-hmm. man. I'm so excited to be back. Like. Fake working again, like I feel yeah, like I haven't I done it. anything in so long. Like I just, That's, I feel like I've been missing. I'm excited, yo. You know, in a long time, like today, since being on this side of battle rap, you know, being like kind of, you know, amongst the culture and behind the scenes. Today, when they dropped that Easy versus Chess, and me hearing that Summer Madness um instrumental, that's the first time in a long while since twenty. Since 2015, I felt like a fan again. That excitement of like, oh, man, I already got my ticket. I can't wait to go to this joint, man. I can't. You know, it's like you feel that yeah. feel. And that was like, I haven't felt that feel in a while. Yeah. Because you kind of get so used excited. to it. I, I can't wait. If, yeah. if, okay, so did you do your predictions already for Summer Madness 11? Uh, no, we can talk about it. Let's talk about it. I did, okay. but let's, we, can, we can go. All right. So you want me to give my predictions? Yeah, okay. So we're starting off. You got the card pulled up already? No. Okay. I think I can go off memory. 
Okay, oh, wow. That's, I mean, your knowledge. <laughs> Let's go. That's a fact. Okay. Okay. Well. It's a short <laughs> card, though. So we should be huh? all right. It's a short card. So we should be okay. It is a short card. Okay. So if, if I'm going, you know, today they dropped chess and easy. I'm very, very, very biased because I am a Bronx girl. Okay. So I'm definitely happy to go with chess. Well, y'all say BX or BNX. BX or BNX. <laughs> I'm from the Bronx. Right. Um, I, I, I want the the chess that we got versus Arsenal and the chess that we got second. All right, second round chess versus O Red when he did all the O flips. And, mm. Yo, I was there. Oh yeah, I, I remember God. that. He's brilliant. Mm -hmm. I want that chess. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, let me think. Of course, you know it's um Reed and Mook. Yeah. I kind of know you. You're conflicted on that. I am. <laughs> I can tell. I can tell. I am conflicted because Mook is just amazing, and what he did with Rock, and I'm a big Rock fan. Yeah. But if I'm honest, I know all of Mook's rounds by heart. They were hitting. They were hitting. Like. It was very well put together, strategic, well calculated. Every line spilled into the next beautiful. And Reed has been doing well. Reed, Reed, Reed uh, he did great um, against Nitty. Nitty. Um, who was before that? Rex. I remember seeing him against Rex. He, mm -hmm. he, he's done good. Like he's 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 stepped. He's been stepping it up. Each time it's like I wouldn't mind seeing. Him. Yeah, but, he, he he gets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, yeah. if we can get a really yeah, so that one I'm just gonna have to say. I'm gonna go with Mook. Okay, we oh, going move. Okay, they saying I'm, read I'm ready. Like, I'm going with move based off that rock joint. That flawless. For me. Okay, yeah, I get okay. it. It's like the "What have you done for me lately?" type. Yeah, thing that applies in battle rap. So I, um, I, I, I definitely understand that. Say in battle rap, who said this? I think Good said that you're only as good as your last performance. Last performance. That's that's and that's he, he's right because that's what you're battling. You're battling yourself and your last performance. And you're like, yeah, yeah, but if. If we're honest, Reed, like you said, Reed gets better every time. So he does. He's figured yeah. it out. He's figured it out what works in mm -hmm. this era because mm -hmm. he did good um against Nitty. Yeah, a lot, a, a lot of people have him winning think, that battle. I think with Reed, um, I think with Reed is just he probably got to go a little faster. Mm. He probably just got to rap just a little faster, like. I feel like some people could go slow and it worked. Like Ice, yeah, he was slow, but he he Harlem. He yeah, 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 yeah. True. I think I want to see Reed go a little faster, like how he did versus Trigger, and you know, okay. like that. Okay. Oh, you come on, you want to see uh, Rambo Reed? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, John, John, and um, 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 what's this guy named Sir? Hmm, John, John. Just off of consistency and like you say, what have you done for me lately? Okay. I feel like betting on Sir is a gamble. <laughs> it is. It's a it's a gamble. But, Very true. But Sir has Ooh, my fault. Oh no, I forgot it. My fault. I thought I had my phone on silent. My fault. Hey, you good? You still hear me? Uh-huh. Okay, I think Sir, every now and then he can give you one of those Geechee performances. Mm -hmm. I remember watching it, and um, I'm, I'm just leaning up against the wall watching that battle, and it seemed like Geechee was fighting, punching, boom, boom yeah. he was doing his thing, and then every round, it seemed like Surf elevated. I was yeah. like, whoa. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that, but it seemed like every, I said, okay, Geechee would come back. It was like really right watching the boxing match. Then Surf would come back. Yeah. I was like, oh, shit, we got a battle here. So <laughs> we have to get that Surf. Yeah. Okay. But if you know what I know what my rule is, and I think a lot of people shout out to um Jim's and I think I heard uh, I think matter of fact Jim's and Good says this say this. They I don't like the if if I get this or if I get that. Okay. If I get that. Nah, we just we don't do that straight up. So if I gotta say if I get this or if I get mm -hmm. that, no, I'm going with the other guy because I know what they're bringing. I don't have to mm -hmm. check that. I get that. Okay. And that applies to a few battle rappers. Okay, so I'm going to have to say, but I'm not going to lie. I ha We have to give Surf 
one round. So I might just go with John John 2 1 with, and I'm going to be detailed, mm -hmm. with giving Surf the first round because he's coming fresh off that Lux. He got to. Uh -huh. He's gonna come out swinging in that first. Okay. Now is he is he going to be able to keep that? Is your no sure. say? But I'm gonna give John John the second and the third, and I'm gonna give Surf the first clear. Okay. If that makes sense. You're gonna give John John the second and the third, Surf the first clear. Yes. That's that's accurate. I can see that. I can okay. see that. And John John is maybe one of the hardest battlers to beat. He's yeah. You rarely see you rarely see him really get beat like that, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's always it's a debatable, but and I think John John he's the one that always understands the opportunity. Mm -hmm. So he's mm -hmm. not, he, mm -hmm. I rarely see him jump the drop the ball. Even him against versus him versus eight, that was a great battle. I like watching that battle just to watch the back and forth. It's dope. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I don't even really pick a winner in that battle, but I like watching it. It's know? a good back and forth. Yeah. Okay, who's next? Who else is on there? Um, who does December fourteenth? Um, uh, we have. Oh, I know what December fourteenth is. What the f happened to Surf Day? Is that is that it? Did somebody ask me, do I not celebrate December fourteenth? Okay. Um. Ooh, K Shine versus Hollow. Oh, okay. Um. Who you got for? I'll go, you go, and then I go. <laughs> Cause I, <laughs> I know I know who I got. Okay. It's easy for me. All right. So here's my thing. I feel like. It's a crowd, right? Uh -huh. I'm, I'm going to have to go with Shine. Me too. However. Okay. Hollow is. Unorthodox. That's the only way to, to describe him. Unorthodox. But... I love Hollow versus Nitty, but I don't think the crowd was appreciating. They didn't pre I got to go back and watch it. I got to really. I was there and I was like, eh, this one, this battle was weird. I think yes, it, was it was such weird. a, it was a style clash. So I think. It wasn't digestible at all. Uh, Nitty's bars were, but then I think he had a slip up too, mm -hmm. somewhere. And I don't think everybody was understanding what Hollow was doing. Yes. What, but I, what I, he I, actually I was doing. Like so I, I'm, I'm gonna have to definitely revisit that one. Okay. Yeah. So I'm. I got K Shine three zero. You got K Shine three zero. Three zero. Oh my God. K Shine really? knows. This is summer madness. A big crowd. Think about it. Shine in front of a crowd with that energetic, that it's unstoppable. That j -j -j -j, like he, him, him, Danny Myers, um, twerk, twerk. They are like some energetic dudes. Yeah. Like it's like you pull it, like crank the lawn on that. Like, like they just, <laughs> they just go, man. <laughs> like they got yeah. like sugar rush, sugar rush battlers or something. Like they, they go. You know so. I think, and then it's the return, and I think K. Shine, man, he gonna eat that up. Yeah, he is. He is. Like, but we're gonna get a good hollow, though. Yeah, if we get a good hollow, we got a great battle. That's good for the culture. Yeah. So, but Are, is that the only? What else is on? That's the only three. I mean. No. Okay, we got. Uh, okay. Then oh, Geechee and Calico. Yeah. That's that's. I don't want to overhype this battle, but if it if it just plays out the way everybody's thinking it's gonna play out, this one this is gonna be great for the culture. You want me to go first? Yes. <laughs> Get you two one. Cause what round are you giving? Uh, it's hard. It's 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 hard because Kyle's always gonna have a moment. He's yeah. going to have one of those bars where it's like, that I ain't lied yet. He said, but I ain't, but I ain't lied yet. Like, them, them joints are room rockers. When he said that joint, when he said, um, I was 12 when I found out Sam Sounds was bags and for sandwiches. Yo. Yo, I was like this when he said that. <laughs> Yo. Stuff like that will break a room. Yeah, so. so I'm really, okay, let me put it like this. I'm going to go with Geechee 2-1, right? Uh -huh. But Ooh. I love Calico talk. The chat I has love the way Calico got it. Talk. Dirty thirty, huh? The chat has got it. Dirty thirty. Oh, they got Gotti three. Ooh, I don't know about that. It's, it's kind of difficult. The thirty. Cal. Cal. Yeah, I, I'm yeah. not gonna disrespect them like that. Yeah. Right. But, but um, oh, I'm sorry. I ain't make that What were you saying? First. What were you saying? I'm sorry. I missed your point. Oh no, no I said I'm. I'm gonna go. 
No, I'm lying. I'm gonna go ahead and give Cal <laughs> maybe like the second. But I'm gonna give Geechee two one. But I'm really excited to hear Calico talk. I love the way Calico talk. Okay. Yeah. So this should be a good car- card. I'm really, really excited. I can't wait to be no. in the building. Like. Yeah, that's gonna be I'm crazy. Gonna... Geechee versus Cal, like. That's gonna be that's gonna be crazy. And then we have the addition of Easy versus Chess. We discussed that. Mm-hmm. I think I, I'm gonna use my two one either way on this one. Okay. Cause it's too hard. And you know what's crazy? It depends on. It sucks. I said I'm going against my own rule. Mm-hmm. It does kind of depend on what chess you get. But mm-hmm. I think chess has showed itself in the Loso battle mm-hmm. and the Kid Chaos battle. Well, I don't even have to say that. So it's I'm, I'm picking two one either way. This did did you have chess win versus Kid Chaos? Uh, I can't remember. I think I I said. I think I said leaving the event. I felt like chess won, but I gotta go back and watch it to really appreciate it, to really dissect everything. Mm. Cause it was close. I think yeah. it came down to the third. In my opinion, yeah. I think it came down to the third. Yes, definitely watch yeah. it again. It's it's just really really good. Period. Yeah, that was that was great. But I yeah, but I love him versus Loso. Yes, that's uh, the battle of the year contenders. That's definitely one of them. That yeah. that's you, I watched that battle three times. Do you think Christian angles get old? Yeah, sometimes. I, I, cause I worry about that for them. I think, I think it's all about their approach. Mm-hmm. Cause I know they they get tired of hearing it, mm-hmm. but I think it's about how creative can you be in your approach. Mm-hmm. Cause mm-hmm. It, it can't it can't get very it, it can get very redundant. Cause you already know mm-hmm. everybody's gonna say for this battle when they battle him. Yeah. But if there's something creative about if the battle approaches it very creative. Or they yeah. have a whole different approach, or if, even if they don't even bring up Christianity at all, and they just yeah. battle, it might it might be a surprise. So it's all about the approach for the artist. Because sometimes I, some artists, sometimes artists get lazy. Yeah. They go for, they go for low hanging fruit when they battle. Yeah. Mm, that's know. a good low hanging fruit. I like that. Yeah. Wow, this was fun. This is dope. <laughs> uh, who is that? It? I think that's it for summer madness. Yup. Yeah. yeah. Yes. If there was one battle, okay, I gotta ask you a question. Okay. Um. I think I, I, cause I did, you know what, I had notes. I, I'm going to ask you something. Okay, hold on, let me go to my notes, cause I did have some questions that I was thinking, okay. I think you told, how did you first get into battle rap? Um, re, rich dollars. Rich, I think you told me, okay, I'll make a show, okay. Mm-hmm. Um. MySpace, that has to be about 14. That's right, you said, that's right, you said, you said about 14. I was, yeah, MySpace. I was 15, yeah, I was 15. This okay. Before I had kids, yeah. Go ahead. What, um, what's I about to say? Well, okay, what is, uh, this is what I want to know too. What is one of your uh, personal favorite battles? That I can go to at any moment and know that I'm yep. doing a good. That's what I want to know, yup. Okay, I have two. Okay. Um, okay, I'm a big rock fan, so I'm going to rock and surf. That's a great battle. Rock versus surf. Uh-huh. Um, but if I'm going to someone's actual round, yeah. I'm going to Ab versus Chess, Ab first round. I'm that specific. Yo, you know what's crazy about that? That's that's one of my favorite, I think, Ab battles or moments because, and he'll t- I think he'll tell you that's one of his favorite battles. That's one of his favorite moments of him being in battle rap in general. I think that's that one of his Ab- favorite moments. That whole Bobby Fisher line. Yeah, and you know what's crazy? That was that was a great that was a great night. Cause I right before that battle, if you if you can go on my Instagram, it's up there somewhere. That I take a picture. I'm I'm ready to walk up the stairs, and Ab is in the background, just kind of like memorizing his rant, like kind of sitting waiting on the, like the, the red couch. Remember in Urban Plaza? Like they got like this red couch in the back, so you just kind of waiting to go on stage. And I take this picture. And I, I'm like, almost. I put like the caption like almost showtime, and just the that that picture it captured like we about to go hit the stage. He was focused. I think this was his first. He was a surprise battle, mm. and it was just like I think that may have been his big stage debut if I think about it. Oh, this is way. This is before he battled Sugar. Mm. So this was like his. 
big stage debut. So when they say, when Smack say, you know what I'm saying, son, he already called out Chess. I think he called Chess first. Mm-hmm. Or he might have called. I can't. He said, yeah. I think he did call Chess first. He called Chess first. And then when he said, coming from VA, everybody the crowd just rock. <sighs> like, and he came out and like, man, and me just capturing that video of the crowd just going crazy. Mm-hmm. And he's trying to take it in and not lose his composure. For me, as his brother, as his friend, as his business partner, that was great for me. Cause you, it's like, it's like when you see your friend, your brother, get his moment. Mm. So for me, witnessing that, that was that was fire for me. That that was right. dope. Cause it's like, yo, you you have, you have arrived. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like him from him hitting that first. That the, the crowd going crazy. 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 That crazy. ad was just like. He had the Bobby Fisher line. He had the what is it? Skip to my the loop. second quarter I ate. I got the munchies. He got the line. munchies. Yeah. The munchies line. He just has so much <sighs> material. You know what's crazy? I I don't think I heard those rounds. I didn't hear those rounds either. So you it was your first time hearing. Yo, them? if you go back go back to that battle, you will see uh-huh. me. That's what I have. I still have my dreads. He said the line. He said, I'ma clap that fucker. Come out come out the cave holding the tray. I feel like Batman's butler. And I lost it because I'm like, oh my God. And I start walking around like this holding the tray. <laughs> I was like, oh my <laughs> God. Like Didn't you, he go back and watch like, it. My, it's my boys still serious? they they still laugh at that. Cause they like, it's funny when we go back and say, yo, Kenny lost that because I, I finally caught it. I said, oh my God. And I was like, yo, you get like oh my God. I start walking around like this because it was crazy yeah. to me. And we still I laugh think at that it. Was- that was the battle that made me want to sit with him from at fifteen. That was crazy. That was that was a great moment. That was that was one of those ones. Yeah. So that's those, that, those, that's, those are my those are my go tos. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Now I can and we can. Uh, I think let me see. Because I'm gonna add, I got like two more questions. Now okay. I'm gonna ask you. Um, how how do you? If you might be asking, how mm-hmm. do you juggle? Being a mother of twins, which is dope. Um, Thank you. Media. Uh, school, you still in school? Uh, no, I just finished seminary. That's what's up. C- congratulations. So Thank I want to ask you, how was it juggling those three and multitasking and everything? Like, how was that for you? Um. Well, thankfully, uh, at first I hated the fact that I was a teen mom. I, I but it. I it's think, all good. You know, everything yeah. works out perfectly. Yeah. Um, I had them when I was 16, uh-huh. so they're, they're 13 now. So That's most awesome. of the hard part uh, is over. And I, I have hip-hop and battle rap to thank for that. Like, yeah. hip-hop and battle rap really got me through depression and, yeah. you know, just being able to turn to those two things yeah. when I was yeah. down and out. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I hope Rock sees this one day. He, I don't know if he knows this, but uh-huh. Rock is a big part of me getting through my depression. Word. Yes, because watching him and how passionate he is, and, Mm -hmm. you know, it always made me say, I want to go that hard for what I love. You know, like, he said this one thing versus Cliffs. He was like, "Um, ever since I took an L, I've been fucking these things up. Uh And that stuck with me. That mentality. Yeah, that mentality of, like, spin the block and Mm -hmm. keep going. Yeah. Um, That's real. And then... Being in media, I feel like my mother told me when I was younger, she said, find something that you love to do and you'll never work a day in your life. And mm-hmm. I feel like that's being in this culture because I don't feel like I'm at work. Yeah. It's, it's fun. Like, to me, it's mind-blowing that Goods is my brother now. When that's the nope. first battle I saw or I could call mm-hmm. Lux or I, I was able to call Beasley and tell him I want to come to Summer Madness. And he was like, okay, I'll put you on another. Like, that's bananas. Yeah. That's crazy. That's dope, though. It's like, it's like, the, it's the journey, y'all. It's the journey that's fire. It's, yes, that's and crazy. um, yeah. just just all that, and then um, you know, being I studied theology, so I, right. I love the Bible. I like, you know, I like to study the Bible. So, you know, just reading the Bible and hood street smarts, mm-hmm. and you know, I didn't grow up in the church, but I grew up in the Bronx. So you, I got yeah. the hood smart, and then I got yeah, that. I like that. You just mix it all together well and you get me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I feel like it's just 
it ha- it, I'm not going to say it's been easy. It's been a journey. Yeah. There's been a lot of depressing moments. There's been suicide attempts and mm-hmm. there's been a lot, but I can honestly say it was all worth it for moments yeah. like this. That's yeah. real. And that's real. That's real. I salute you for even sharing that. And I'm glad you got, got through everything. Like, I think everything, that's why we love hip hop for yes. like, getting this through it. Like, you can hear a song mm-hmm. and you can remember exactly what you were going through, mm-hmm. how you got through it. You can look back, you can reflect and feel like good that, oh man, mm-hmm. I'm so thankful that I got through that, got through Absolutely. that point and everything. Yeah. Like, so that's, I, and I, I thought about it today while I was driving, like, yo, hip hop is really like my, my, my first love, like, real, like, I, I love it. Like, you, you don't yes. want to go without it. You think about it. You need it for every little aspect, for whatever you're doing. Like, you love it. You know? Absolutely. And you know what's so crazy? Like I said, I wasn't raised in the church. So uh-huh. when I, I was, like, 21 when I started going to church. And I, I, I always was like, yo, I can't love rap. I can't love battle rap and be in the church. So mm. I had I separated from battle rap for you a minute. You thought flip this. Yes. Uh-huh. But then after a while, I started to be comfortable with who I am because of people like Saga. When Saga yeah. came out, that was my. You, you can relate, like. Yes, yeah. that was my um. Permission to Prom- be me. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, you want to know what's so crazy? What? When I got a chance to interview Rock, right? Yeah. No, nobody knows this, but I, I, if you see the interview on YouTube, that's actually the second interview. The first interview that I did with Rock, I was oh. so nervous. I started shaking. Oh, I got teary eyed. <laughs> <laughs> I almost quit. Uncle Rob was like, are you okay? He asked me mad times, like, are you high? Are you high? For real? I'm like, no, I'm not high. Because <laughs> I just couldn't, like, I couldn't function. Cause, you yeah, know, you're talking good. Watch, yeah, well, you watch. You had the jitters. Like, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was it's... so nervous. And then we had to stop. They gave me like 15 minutes and Rock was like, everything's okay. He's like, don't worry. I'm here. I'm not leaving. And then we started again. And that's what, what we got. Took a deep breath. He's like, Yo, yeah, I had to stop yeah. thinking. Yeah. That's real. Like that's, that's, that's love. Yo. So if y'all can flood Rock comments and tell him I love Yo, him. Yo, yeah, they definitely <laughs> got to Yo, salute. Yeah, Rock, I, um, I've earned, well, I've learned, I, I appreciate Rock. Rock is Mr consistent to me mm-hmm. consistency like you could say whatever you want about that boy but you can't say he don't show up you could say he lost mm-hmm. but you can't say he wasn't prepared you can't say he didn't show up you can't say he didn't give you his all and that's what i aspire to be in mm-hmm. life so that's yeah. why i love him because admittedly i wasn't a big rock fan before i got like into the business like that and start hanging around rock like because i was always like a clips guy, punch I thought Rock was just all aggression and gun bar. Mm-hmm. But then when I started to watch his preparation, like once I yeah. got down, you know, part of Av's team and everything, I was like, I said, Yo, Rock is consistent every time. He is. You he don't is. want to see somebody passionate and yeah. he did carry yeah. URL on his back for like damn near almost a decade. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Straight up. And that's mm-hmm. gotta be commended. So I've learned yeah. the I found a, a new, you know, appreciation for him, like, straight up, like... Yeah, yeah. You I want the heart, like, if you can build a, a battle rapper, you want Tay Rock's mm-hmm. determination. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. And passion, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, respect. Mm-hmm. Yep. And my last question for you, we go, well, who's your top five? Like, music, like, music artists? Okay. Yeah, music artists. We're going to go with hip-hop. It don't have, it could be all-time, present, whatever. Okay, um, my my number one, I'm gonna go with Jada Kiss. Okay. Um, and that comes from him being the artist that I went to during my depression. Wow. Um, oh, Jada Kiss the, is in my top. He's in my top five too. Go ahead. Why wow, is crazy? The, the last Kiss album is the album that got me through depression. The the you're the only one I love with Jasmine Sullivan. It was that exact smoking song. smoking gun. It was that exact song, and I I'm gonna tell you this too. I've I've said this before. It was. I think I had to be about 19. My kids were like three. Mm-hmm. And um, I was just I was just over it. I was just over like, mm, I, get I went in the bathroom. I took every pill in the house. Every oh, pill. Man. I laid in the tub playing smoking gun and I went to sleep. And when I woke up, 
smoking gun was playing. Still playing. Still playing. I didn't wow. want to wake up, but I purposely went yeah, to bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I went to sleep too. Respect. That. Oh man. So Jada Kiss. Thank God. I'm 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 great. Yeah, grateful. Like got you through. Yeah, yeah. Cause yes, Jada Kiss. Then I'm gonna go with Tupac. Okay. Um, I, I'm gonna go with people might clown this, but I'm gonna go with Bow Wow. Okay, no, no. I grew up with Bow Wow. I, I get it. I get it. My sister, so my like, sister, my sister is the same way. I, I can understand that because, and respectfully, Bow Wow's not bad. Like Bow Wow, right. if you watch he him is. grow, you you feel a connection to him because you've seen him grow from beginning to where he's at, and you you resonate with him. Like that's one of your personal favorites. I get it. Um, Jada Kiss, Tupac, Bow Wow. I had um I had a uh I had a Jay Z moment, but I wouldn't put him there. Um, and then I'm gonna go with. Uh, Hold on, who was that? Jadakiss, Tupac. J- Jade, um, Jadakiss, Tupac, Tupac, Tupac Bow, um, wow. Bow Wow, Nas, Nas, cool. and um, J Cole. Wow, I can see Jay that yours is. You like um, the penmen, the guys that are like rappers, very poetic. Yes. Um, almost prophet like. I love storytelling. Yeah. I love storytelling. Lyrics all day. I I respect. I respect that top five. Even with yeah. Bow Wow, because I, I get it. Yeah. Because I, I um like and I even not not even fuck because I was a. Like I like I said, I love crisscross. Like I crisscross, always had a whole special place with mm-hmm. me. Like just they the ones who made me feel like oh this is capable. Like you could do mm-hmm, it. Mm-hmm, you know what I'm saying? They were kids. Okay. I so get I that. get it with the whole JD mm-hmm. connection, so so deaf. I definitely get it. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's my top five. That's it. Oh, they want to know no ladies. Do you have a top five for ladies? I have an emotional attachment to Lauren Hill. Oh. And an emotional attachment to Erica Badu. That's great. Yeah. So I got to ask you on that note. What you think about Lauren's verse on Nas's album? You know what? I it it gave me so much. This is why I love her. Mm-hmm. That's what. It, but I'm not gonna lie. It kind of annoyed me to see people praising her like they've always loved her. I get you like, oh, now y'all want to come back over here. I've been rocking with her through the, the mud, and now yeah. y'all want to come. I get it. <laughs> even, with, even with Jada Kiss, like, seeing people, yo, when they when he did the Who Shot to Freestyle, yes. I'm up there rapping that joint from front a lot of, lot of kids, yo, A lot of people thought it was new. And people thinking it's new, and I'm like, y'all can't be serious. Where y'all at? Yeah, thank you. So Jada's, been, like, yeah. Jada's been in my top five since, I'm going to say since 97. Like, yeah. all, for the, all for the love. Yeah. It's one of my favorite songs. I used to have that on repeat. Getting ready for middle school. I think it was yeah, it was getting ready for mid, getting ready for junior high middle school. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I had All for the Love on repeat on that off of that first locked album. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. he just always been my favorite. I got to meet him. I want to say in 2012 maybe, 2012, 2013, something like that. Mm-hmm. And um but Jada's always been the standout to me. So to see him get his flowers Yes. I, was, I was just happy, I'm like, y'all finally catching up to what I already, I mean, not a lot of people knew, but like, just to yeah. see him get his flowers is yeah. great. He deserves it. He deserves it. it. He yeah. deserves it. He deserves it. Yeah. So, so that's my, I, yeah. That's there my okay. <laughs> that, is, thank you. I appreciate it. They say KLW underscore one says wonderful interview. I appreciate okay. that. That's nice. Thank you. And I appreciate y'all rocking with me. I know y'all like, like where's Ab at? Where's but I appreciate y'all rocking, tuning in. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you. For, um, the last minute, you know, change. Um, we definitely gonna have you on the show again, like okay. very soon. Um, we definitely gonna have Ab up here and let y'all, you know, y'all chop it up and everything too. Cause trust me, we'll probably be back Tuesday. Okay. And we'll be talking right before we get ready to go, you know, for the battle and everything to see how he's feeling. So thank you. Okay. I appreciate it. Thank um, you. Let, oh, let the people know how they can find you and follow you and everything. Um, Twitter is Nikki underscore knowledge. I think three. Yeah. No, no, no. Nikki knowledge. I can say, three. Let me look. 
Yeah, Nikki Knowledge three on Twitter. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. And this then on, tonight's show was so dope. I appreciate y'all. Oh, that's so nice to hear. I feel good because I was nervous. I know that is why I was like, man, they gonna be like, where the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. I'm about, yeah, to, I'm about to tell you right now, yo. Yeah, you talking like some good stuff, so it's like, yeah. yeah. It's and Nikki. Then under, I'm about to fact. I'm about to just type it in the chat. And then Instagram is Nikki underscore knowledge. Yep. Yeah. I'm about to put it in the chat now so everybody can know. And I like, I I appreciate you. Like I said, since we first touched bases, yes. I don't even remember how many years ago. Thank Three. you. You've always been solid. Nothing but words of encouragement and. A great support. Like I'm, I always root for you to win. So thank, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm always supporting. So thank you. Thank so you. Much. Yes, from the day we met, you've always been supportive That's real. and encouraging. And I always be like, average. I mean, Kenny's the best manager. That's I not my manager. Like, I, like, <laughs> I, I say that. Hum- I, I, pre- I, I accept that humbly. Thank you, because it's still so much more I got to learn and what I'm trying to accomplish as well. So yes. thank you. I appreciate that. No problem. Thank you for it. having me. No problem bye, at bye. all. I'm gonna make. Hold on, I'm gonna make. Sure, I'm gonna make sure I put this uh your Instagram in the thing. Okay. Boom. So everybody can follow it. Thank you guys. I'll see you soon. All the same. All the same. Bye, baby girl. Everybody's uh always dope. to see people who share the same di- interest. Always dope. Oh. Appreciate that. Okay. Bye, guys. All Thank right. you, Kenny. Until next time. No problem. Anytime. Thank you, Nikki. You take it easy. Okay. Okay. I'll see you at Summer Madness. On see matter of fact, we'll, we'll see each other t- Tuesday. Yes. 9 o'clock. I'll see you on Tuesday. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. All right. So, once again, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. I know y'all are probably like, where the hell is the ad? But I appreciate y'all rocking with me. Like, I'm going to just try to get in the, um, the swing of having guests and we're going to try to give y'all content, good content, great interviews and um, I appreciate y'all. So, till next time, this is Kenny Kenny signing off. Follow me on all social media platforms at Kenny Kenny uh, Kenny Kenny 757. Y'all make sure y'all um, follow my bro Av. Little know I held it down, you know what I'm saying? Shot City underscore Av. And um, till next time, I'll see y'all Tuesday at 9. And this is Straight Like That TV. Just like that, I'm out. Try to option to stop, cause how other niggas make they guap don't hurt your progress or drop. Rock it with the green dot on the top of the static chasers. This table ain't no place for the fake. They aggravate us, see us jealousy whenever you great. We laugh at haters, playing with the king can break up your team. Just ask the Lakers, it's the fam. And not a single man brag on favors. We was riding in them trenches, sandwich bags with the razors. Early mornings at the cash, couldn't pass by the paper. Posted heavy on the gate till we harassed by the neighbors. It's major. They say a nigga reaching GOAT status. I'm just trying to reach my goal before them people toe tag us. That's probably the reason why my heathens toe ladders. Casket and Easter clothes when the reaper soul snatch it. Better know who a factor and who just yapping on records. Somewhere down the line at bragging, got to match with your efforts. Digging how I shine, she know that I'm cracking, won't sweat up. Cause bottom line, better see no that I can smack with no pressure. I'm forever solid. That's why the city know I got us. Give a fuck who niggas favorite. Y'all debate, I do deposits. Middle finger to the jakes. Tell the haters sit and watch us. Cause it's only up for now when that's a problem. I used to dream Only about option. times like this, now they watch you while I ball. Rockstar life, fucking on the center fall. Working crazy, middle finger to the law. Trust no man, I'm just praying to the law. 